good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whatever time it is, wherever you may be. I hope everybody's doing well today. Today is Tuesday, again. It's another Tuesday, which means more Zelda. It is Triforce Tuesday, week 23. We are continuing our quest of The Wind Waker, in which we still have a lot of, uh, a lot of good story to complete, a lot of adventure to go on. got going on today is very likely not much of the actual story. There will be some story progression. I'm not sure how much of it we're going to get to. Uh, we'll see. Mostly, mostly side quests, treasure hunting, that kind of thing. You're doing fine. I'm glad to hear you. I'm hanging in there, Nicola. Um, I did initially plan, I know you guys know that my streams have been a little bit shorter recently. There's Bob. Game's a smidge loud. Let's fix it. Thank you for letting me know. Um, last time you guys told me it was too low. Um, yeah, so mostly because of the point of the game I'm in, there's there's a bunch we can actually do. I'll turn it down to this and let me know how that sounds when we get started. Um, I know I know I've been doing sort of shorter streams recently, and, and I did plan for this one to be more of my typical length stream. However, I do have a migraine today, and uh, I kind of don't want to spend a ton of time on, uh, on playing a game today, so we'll see. We'll see where we get sort of a natural break and things and where what I'm doing at the time, but yeah, it's, it's mostly going to be, today is very much a, a, I think, a relaxing, chill side quest collection day. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, Retro? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. I thought I thought you were gonna stream last night, but I didn't see you on. Hope everything's good with you. Uh, thank you, Health. I appreciate it. The boat looks like it gets super hot. Oh, Beatles? Yeah, Beatleship. Good morning! Letters for Bob, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Dear Bob. If you are reading this letter, it can only mean that you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry uh, I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, I guess, I guess those are different, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. That's probably not a good idea for real life, actually. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept a small token. I look forward to the day we, that we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. That was nice. Got a piece of heart. Probably not smelling so good, Drew. Uh, we were supposed to do Super Bunny Man. But her internet died. Oh, so that's... Okay, that was the reason. Uh, so this place, too, has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be... Could he already be regaining his power? Bob, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in the place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. I will do that in due time. Uh, yeah, I hope, hope you're doing well, Retro. Regardless... our map here. Immediately. 
<laughs> I'm hanging in there. Retro, not bad. Chiropractor shortly. Oh, okay. Enjoy your chiropractor visit. Chiropractor's scary. But the idea of putting your back just destroyed by somebody you don't know. <laughs> I've never been to one. And we're gonna be. I think we're just gonna be doing a lot of sailing today. Ah, uh, yes. Mark my chart. They don't go full adjust on me, just poking around mostly, so I'm messing around with my back. As long as it doesn't harm you in any way. This worries me. Uh, hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? That's you guys. You guys helped. You made that happen. The only way uh, is there to hit a switch that's high up on Forest Haven. But the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the goals by putting a little bait on your head. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but it's my policy. Um, this is what he says every time, so don't really need to listen to his spiel. But yeah, we, we started the Nintendo Gallery last week. You guys were around. Uh, we got quite a few quite a few photos and figures made already, so good good start to the uh, the old Nintendo Gallery, which again was uh, you guys made that happen. I get your spine cracked by Bane? Brain. The only good car factor I'm aware of is me. Batman. <laughs> Not a medical medical professional. Hello, mushroom mystery. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Going towards our Phantom Hourglass ship parts collection, which I am dreading and regretting putting on the list. Um. Thankfully, it's your friend. Oh, okay. That's see that. Yeah, I would. I would also have more trust in somebody that I actually knew. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. You merely adopted the sublimination of the spine. I was born with one. <laughs> Fired this up for a few minutes over the weekend and tried to play it like Breath of the Wild. And it was. Very frustrated that I couldn't climb everything. It is, I'll tell you what, man. Most of my gameplay has been Tears of the Kingdom recently. Uh, I have, it's, I told you guys, like, I really don't ever play games offline, but it's Zelda, right? So, um, of course I'm going to play it, and I wanted to experience it offline <coughs> before eventually bringing it to Triforce Tuesday, which will happen. Uh, however, getting getting so accustomed to those controls, which is... I can't make a single jump. This is ridiculous. Getting accustomed to those controls, which is really the only game that I've been playing recently, especially a 3D game, kind of <laughs> takes a toll on when I come back to stream and try to play other 3D games, uh, such as this and Banjo-Kazooie, and uh, it's been really hard to adjust to the proper controls per per game. Every time I go to play a game, I've got the Tears of the Kingdom controls like ingrained in my brain, and that's not how these games work, so I definitely identify with that. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I hope you are as well. <laughs> I like the yellow rupee. This game. Yellow rupees don't make a ton of appearances in Zelda. Actually, can anybody tell me a little a little uh, Zelda trivia? You guys ready? Can anybody tell me in chat what the first ever appearance of the yellow rupee was? Oh. 
Good question. Retro, I half expect you to know it. Wind Waker, okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything until people have put in their their guesses. Ocarina. Majora. Anybody any other guesses? Health, maybe? Zelda 1. Even earlier. What's up, Starry Shapo? Yellow. Yeah, first appearance of the yellow rupee. Hope you're doing well. Hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Starry Shapo. I, when I first saw it, I thought it was Starry Shampoo. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. A CDI game. Ooh, die. Starry is okay? Okay. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um... So, I will say one of you got it right. Somebody in chat did get it right. Some aggressive aloe vera. <laughs> oh, I need to light this on fire, eh? Um... Can I reach? Oh, shoot. Oh, I've messed everything up. It was. It was actually Zelda 1. Uh, officially. Now, it doesn't necessarily look like it in the game, but in Zelda 1, the, the rupee that is worth one rupee is actually a yellow rupee, officially. In the guide, that is what it is called, and what is the, the art that matches up with it. In the game, it flashes between, like, this orangey color, but that's just the limitations of the color palette. Uh, so it flashes between this orangey color and blue. I don't know why it flashes, but it does. Uh, but it is canonically... No! No! <laughs> oh, no. It is canonically uh, yellow. And I didn't make the rules. Alright, let's at least grab this. A blinking yellow rupee, that's right. Pretty cool, there's your Zelda trivia for the day. Uh, also, another another rupee trivia related question. You guys want another one? What is the most uh, consistent value of rupee throughout the Zelda games? Did that work? Oh, it did. most consistent value across are you, are you are you kidding me right now across Zelda games like what what color sorry I, I this is hard to phrase but what color holds the most consistent value across Zelda games blue blue is always five this is the way red no knowledge of Zelda blue People seem to like the blue. Can attempt green to be different. Red's a good answer. Get your, I'll get your Zelda trivia out for the day here. A little from Mr. Korra. Mushroom, did you have did you have an answer as well? Yeah. The tree is withering. I can't do anything about that yet. yet. BRB. Uh, I will tell you guys the answer then. No, no, nobody got it right. 69, which is the pink rupee. <laughs> No, nobody in chat got it right. The most consistent color across all Zelda games is actually the purple rupee. Yep, purple. It's always worth 50. It's been 50 in every game that it's made an appearance in. Um, blue has sometimes not been 5. Green has sometimes not been 1. Red has sometimes not been 20. Uh, 
Gold fluctuates, silver fluctuates, purple is the most. Uh, we got a we got a rare blue choo choo here. Uh, deep within blue choo choos is a gelatinous essence that's said to be magical cure all, but unfortunately it can't be used in its current. Form. Uh, but yeah, the most most consistent value is a purple rupee. The more you know. My world is broken with this knowledge. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry to uh, to break that to you guys. Golden silver fluctuated to free market. <laughs> so now, now you guys are educated. Now you know your rupee lore. And all that, I think, just because I, I liked the yellow rupee in this game, which, like I said, has a value of ten. It has a value of ten in this game, and has a value of ten in, um. Uh, Twilight Princess, and it's got a value of 1 in the original game. Yeah, how does the rupee lore fit into the Zelda timeline? That's a good good question. I did... I was talking so much about rupees that I did get the... Okay, I got the treasure chart, right? Is this the... I've got a couple that are unopened. What was it? 25? Oh, I've got a few that are unopened. What's... I'm slacking. 25? Okay. Hey, Hocus. Hey, Ichi. What's up? Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing well. You missed all the trivia. It's unforgivable. You'll never know about rupees now. How does that make you feel? dumb or can I not read the compass in this game? Okay. Okay, so the red the red needle is the direction you're facing. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm a genius. How are you guys doing today? Hope everything is good. I need, um, you know, I don't know, I need, I need company today because I'm just going to be sailing the open sea for the vast majority of, of the day. I need topics to talk about. What do you guys want to talk about? Sailing the seas of cheese. To go into the office every day this week because I've got an intern for the summer. Oh, really? Do you have to teach him or them? I should say. Uh, yeah. What 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 information you got for me, buddy? Got some cleaning up done, little by little. I will get through it all. Hey, I I understand the feeling, Hocus. Do your best. All you can uh, you can do, right? Okay. Have you seen it? The ghost ship? Because it's real. It's even being seen here, in these very waters. On the nights when the crescent moon faces down, what is that's when the horror rises. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome back, Mushroom. I've got a VR headset as a gift, and I never know how much exercise I could get from it. Uh, is that right? What, what kind of exercise are you getting from a VR headset? Uh, the little guy who just marked my map? Yeah, that was a fish. A fish. Don't hurt me. Where's the treasure? Hang on, which, which treasure am I after here? Let's check our treasure charts. Honestly... Oh, there it is. No, go back. Go back! Honestly, I think this is one of the most fun parts about Wind Waker. People might not enjoy this. I think this is super fun. Like aligning aligning your treasure charts with the possible hidden hidden treasure in the ocean. Stop. Stop. Where are you going? Stop. Got it. 
We got it. That seems like a good kid, but people should not put me in charge of other people. Ask my children. <laughs> Playing Beat Saber. Aerobic dancing. I do three songs and I'm sweating like a Hylian <laughs> in Ganon's Tower. Uh, that got us a little nice heart piece. And there we go. Treasure chart 33 complete. Go this way. Birds are the worst. Oh, it might have... I don't know. Mushroom, I'm not sure if it fired off recently. $3,500 Apple headset? Oh, I'm. when did I turn to the north? I don't even remember doing that. Go south. How much it costs to fix your car? Did you were you able to get your car fixed? Everything's okay with it, Ichi. Oh, is that like a new thing? Like that a new Apple product? A thirty-five hundred dollar headset? Three rupees. Oh my goodness! Apple does it again. They're so innovative. Oh, you just dropped it off. I thought you had gone last week. Look, the purple rupee. It's it's worth 50. Now you guys know. something on the last the last area I was just in. That's okay, we can go back. I did, but I couldn't afford to have it worked on. Oh, man. Love your index? Uh, yeah, let me know what's up. What is your index? Apple headset looks neat, but for the price, no thanks. Is it just like a VR thing? Which purple rupee color is my favorite? Uh, <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. <laughs> uh, so this is just more of an instructional thing. Uh, I actually... Yeah, 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 I know, buddy. I actually have a purple rupee. One sec. I'll grab it for you guys. Gonna be hard to set up back there, but just when you thought I didn't have things in my Zelda collection, I've got a purple rupee as well. It's worth 50 rupees. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, imagine carrying around dozens as currency. There we go. Purple rupee lore is now behind me. Welcome in, Chunky Cat. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Oh, Valve Index? Never heard of that. Uh, it's like a cross between a VR headset and Google Glasses, except it looks like ski goggles. Really? So it's also not practical, is what you're saying. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to head back to where I was real quickly. I think I missed something. Go this way. How uh, the gaslighting by a fish continues. 
A lot of people saying stuff about you in the ocean. <laughs> on the bulky side. The very nice rupee, thanks. Is a rupee plastic or glass? It's plastic. Um, I think maybe it's resin. It might be resin. It's definitely not glass. Um, but it's... I think it's probably resin. I would imagine. I would imagine it's probably resin. ASMR tapping. <laughs> Alright. Retro, good luck. Don't die. Uh, where did I get it? Etsy. A long time ago. I don't... I, if I can find... My... My... Like, if I can go into, like, my purchase history or something. If I can find it. I will, um... I'll link it in the Discord. What's up, Pammy? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Artist formerly known as Pantry. Get some joy pendants. Uh, that's not why we came here. I didn't come here for joy pendants. Probably, maybe I should have talked more about the Ruby lore <laughs> during the Oracle games, because the Oracle games kind of really destroy everything uh, that we know about Rupees in the Zelda series. They just, they like make a complete mockery of it. It's ridiculous. And I never really mentioned that. I don't know why. November, thank you so much for the hundred. <laughs> hey there, small fry. Is that the same outfit you wore when I saw you last? Wow. You know you are very brave to be out here and being yourself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. Why Why does he sound so sarcastic? <laughs> uh, November, thank you so much for the, uh, <laughs> for the 100 going towards our something. Master Quest playthrough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, the, the new Zelda games also ruin rupees in terms of the market, like we talked about, um, but is in terms of values, they're, you know, I guess they're all the same if there even are any. Um, but yeah, typically people are used to seeing green is one, blue is five, red is twenty, and that's that's the case for most Zelda games. But there are cases in which that is that changes. Wow, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's the best wow. It's so sarcastic. Make sure the mean girls of the Wind Waker scene. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? We've got bats. Bats, why did I call them bats? We've got keys. I tried, I tried using like gyroscopic controls just now, which... Kinda don't exist. You know what I mean? You guys just not see me? Are you that blind? I like how that one's trying to get to me and is blocked by his buddy.
Lots of joy pendants. I want to know where the rupee comes from. Are they minted or mined? Produced organically from creatures? That's a good question. Imagine getting murder murdered by a butterfly necklace. Uh, we're we're stealing the butterfly necklace from the uh, from the enemies. That's what we came for. This is what we're looking for here. Arg. Um. All blood rupees. <laughs> That's why there aren't many children. So Link is a thief? Uh, yeah. I mean, Link's... <laughs> Link has a history of being called thief in Zelda games. <laughs> the idea of blood rupees. Conflict rupees. Should be playing on the gamepad to make life a little bit easier. I don't know. I don't know if maybe that's something I should do. So I can check my map easier. I think I think that's a thing to play on the uh, on the gamepad. I think I have easier access to my map and stuff. Also, I didn't I didn't climb this tower, did I? Hey, what's up, Jedi? Hope you're doing well. I missed you. Thanks, man. Missed you too. I'm just kind of, kind of taking a bit of a break from Twitch in general. Uh, I'm taking a break from speedrunning specifically. That's why I'm only streaming two days a week right now. Um, I've, I've had a, like a lot of appointments and stuff that I needed to take care of, and um, then I'm just kind of just chilling, taking a bit of a break, which. Uh, my hands are enjoying as well as my my brain from speedrunning. Uh, speedrunning can be pretty pretty uh, taxing on me specifically. I don't know how other speedrunners feel, um, but for me it it can be a pretty you know it can take a toll on me. So I I didn't intend to take two weeks off from speedrunning, but I can say that I'm kind of enjoying the break from it right now. Uh, but I'm here for, for casual gaming right now. But I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you guys, as always. I collect gemstones with my partner. So many cool stones to choose from. Oh, I chose not to get a uh, diamond for my wife's enga engagement ring. Link's always been a jerk if you think about it enough. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, if you really if you really do think about it, you can uh, <laughs> you can trace Link back to being a bit of a a jerk, like you said. Doesn't he always save the princess? I guess. Yeah. Snap a pick and drop, drop it in the Discord of our display collection. Oh, cool. I take regular breaks. Very refreshing. Could just be an anti-hero, breaking everyone's pots, stealing rupees, saving our own. Must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll skip over that. My wallet's almost full. I love the storms in this game so much. Especially when the sea the sea changes to like that. It's sea foam green too on the nose, but when it changes to that that greenish color, it's just so beautiful. And you get the lightning and the dark clouds. Ugh. So much to love about this game, truly. And this is this is a little bit of a weird thing. Um, I don't know how many people are going to like 
understand what I mean, but the sea hats, the things that we just passed there in the water, that you can see over on the left, I love the noises they make. I don't know why, but it's like oddly comforting to me. I, I don't know how to explain it. Ah, oh, Boko Baba Seed. But I, for whatever reason, I just love the, the sounds he has me. Don't judge me. Yeah, that like, yeah, it's a bit of like a helicoptering sound, but it's a lot more, it's a lot less aggressive than an actual like helicopter. I don't know, it probably, it probably just has to do with me enjoying this game when it came out and just sailing around so often that it's just something that I got used to hearing. Maybe that's why, maybe that's the reason for it, but I don't, I don't know. Ooh, we have a ruby. And I'm full. Link and Deadpool are basically the same, except one never shuts up and the other never speaks. I don't know anything about Deadpool, unfortunately. Make the, love it when they make the sky so realistically pretty. This game is, is gorgeous, even for, you know, being, like, cel-shaded. People, people obviously had a problem with initially, but it's become kind of like this, this cult classic, right? Can I just get up here? Is that... Oh, I can. There we go. Hello, sir. How are you? The sunset's so nice. Like, I've been taking so many pictures in Tears of the Kingdom just because of how beautiful the game is. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. What do you say? You want to play a boat game for 30 rupees? Uh, I don't know about that. Is, is this even... Well, I ain't a good, that good a talker, but here goes. Listen up. The deal is, you take your boat and sail over the barrels floating in the water. See how many rupees you can bring to the finish line within the time limit. Uh, I think this just gets me rupees. Uh, no. I don't... I don't think this benefits me in any way, and I've already got a full wallet of rupees, so I think I'll pass. I don't remember having to do anything with this for 100%. little puzzle here is not much of a puzzle but it really sucks to do stupid mini blends I should think my controller that I'm not using no go away ah everything's reversed One. Oh, where'd that second one go? <laughs> oh, I think I accidentally targeted a mini balloon that was like in the in the little cavern there.
Oh, I don't need to do all three. Okay, I don't need to do all three at once. I thought it was one of those puzzles. Uh, which modern Zelda game is my favorite? I guess it depends on... Like, I see you put modern in quotes. I guess it depends on what... Like, when do you consider modern Zelda happening? Got the submarine chart. Now you know where to find enemy submarines that's, uh, that surface from below. Over the chart on the map screen to view it. Like when 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 would you consider that modern Zelda has like taken place? Go away. I suppose maybe I should try and grab a picture of these guys, huh? While I'm here. <laughs> Too close. Everybody go away. Please. Game's impossible. Okay, that one's that one's good, so <laughs> I'll be able to, to do that one. Let's see. I, th I usually think it's modern around the Nintendo DS slash Wii era. Uh, if we start with the Wii, the first game, first Zelda game that was released was... Um, Twilight Princess in that era. And being that all my other favorite Zelda games come before that, it might actually be Twilight Princess. Um, that might be my answer, considering that all, the, all my other favorite Zelda games came before Twilight Princess. Uh, I think Twilight Princess is my next favorite in terms of anything that came out, like, post-2005. That I can think of off the top of my head. Let me consult my Triforce Tuesday list and see if there's anything I'm not thinking of. Um, let's see, we have Twilight Princess, Phantom Hourglass, Spear Tracks, all garbage. Phantom Hourglass, Spe Spear Tracks, I mean. Garbage. Skyward Sword, kind of garbage, but I like it. Link Between Worlds, really good. Breath of the Wild, good, but not a Zelda game. Tears of the Kingdom, good, but not a Zelda game. So yeah, I would say, I would say definitely Twilight Princess. Why is my twi- oh, because it was just there. Because it got triggered, that's why. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't see it either. Thank you, though. Uh, so yeah, my favorite modern Zelda game would be Twilight Princess. Excellent, excellent Zelda game. Would highly recommend it to anybody who hasn't played it. Especially if you like Zelda. Uh, I actually just talked about this... I think over the weekend. Um, that... Uh, there's... I've talked about this YouTuber before. His name's Thomas Game Docs. And he's a very good YouTuber. I would I would recommend his channel if you're looking for video game content. Um, there we go. Red, red is the direction I want to go, not blue. Uh, he's he's a really good YouTuber, and he has a video of people voting for the best in well every Zelda game from worst to best, and he put out like a Google Doc and had people vote, and, oh, I forgot these things existed. I thought for a second I was trying to feed the fish. And, uh, so he put, like, a Google Doc out and asked people to vote from, like, one to five, rate each game, and then he took the average of all the, the ratings, and, oh, I didn't mean to, what am I doing? Get on the, Are you dumb? <laughs> he took the average rating for each game, and, and then, you know, compiled a list and put down each Zelda game in terms of what people voted for. And you could tell it was just a bunch of, not to spoil the video if anybody does happen to watch it, 
I would recommend watching it. I would recommend Thomas's channel. Um, you can tell it's really just like a bunch of Zoomers voting because the worst game on the list was Zelda 2. And that's that's kind of that thing that like everybody just like, oh, this game's bad. And it's like, if you haven't played it or experienced it for yourself, then you're probably just going to blindly agree with something like that. And uh, the the best game was Breath of the Wild. Like what? It, like you can tell it's just like a bunch of like young kids who played their their very first Zelda game was Breath of the Wild, and they probably shouldn't have rated the rest of the games. And they heard that Zelda, people don't like Zelda two, so that got voted the worst game. It's like, eh, I don't really agree with any of this. Uh, northeast of here is Forest Haven. They say it's truly a unique. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard of it, small fry? I might happen to have one on me right now, actually. It emits bursts of light in seven colors, supposedly as beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, though, you better have a bottle. I might have one on me. Add it to your list for games to play. Yeah, Twilight Princess is amazing. Super, super recommended. Crap, I'm a zoomer. Would you say legitimately, I, d I don't know if you're, if you're joking around health, would you say that Breath of the Wild is the best Zelda game? and Zelda 2 is the worst. I very, very much respect Breath of the Wild for what it is, and Tears of the Kingdom, uh, as I'm having a ton of fun playing that. Uh, I have not, nobody say anything, I have not completed much of the actual storyline in Tears of the Kingdom, but so far I'm genuinely enjoying it more than Breath of the Wild just because there's there's so much to it. It is it's crazy. And um, I don't know if it would be more of a Zelda game than Breath of the Wild was. But Breath of the Wild was not really much of a Zelda game at all. It just wasn't. And that's my, my biggest gripe with that. And that's why I kind of give it an average rating at best. I think when I did my tier list on stream... I think I gave it a C. Like a C or a D, honestly. It's a good game, but when we're rating Zelda games, it doesn't compare. It's not It's not really a Zelda game. Uh, where are the blocks? A little, on the little puzzle island here. When Twilight Princess came out, I assume. I remember reading and hearing that it was bad, but that it was the one I enjoyed the most. Um, I never heard anything bad about Twilight Princess when it was first released. Only now am I starting to hear people kind of go back on it and say it's not a good game, but... Um, yeah, when it came out, I think that's what people really wanted at the time, uh, because... Because when this was released, people hated it because of the art style, and it looked too childish and kiddish and uh, silly and cartoonish, and people had a problem with that because of like that whole Space World demo uh, where people thought they were getting something like Twilight Princess, and they got this instead. And then Twilight Princess came out, and I think people really loved it at the time. And now... People kind of hate on Twilight. I'm not really sure why that is. It's an amazing game. I never finished it because Monster Hunter. <laughs> Link to the Past is my favorite favorite Zelda game, but Zelda 2 is not good. I would, yeah, but I don't know that I would put Zelda 2 at the bottom of the list when games like Triforce Heroes and Phantom Hourglass and uh, Spirit Tracks and like. There, there are worse games out there than <laughs> than Zelda 2. There are worse Zelda games. That's that's my point. No, which way am I facing? East? Am I facing more? I guess I'm facing east.
I wish they would expand more on Minna and her world. I know they alluded it, alluded to it kind of in Link, Link Between Worlds. Um, yeah, I absolutely love the whole Twilight, everything, the whole Twilight aspect and uh, Midna's character and everything. It's, I don't know, that whole, whole game is just amazing to me. I'm a big fan. Uh, I might not... Not be meant to be here yet. I don't remember. Might have to come back to this area. Uh, if the DS games were on that list, and they were vote, voted better than Z2, then the entire thing is a sham. Yeah, so every every Zelda game was on the list. Every game. Except for things like Link's Crossbow Training and... Um, you know, so, like like the Tingle game. Like, none, none of like the, the true spinoffs, but things like Four Swords were on there, Four Swords Adventure, the DS games. Triforce Heroes was on there. How are you gonna... Like, I don't... How does Triforce Heroes beat Zelda 2. That doesn't make any sense at all. So that's that's what makes me think it's just like a bunch of bunch of young kids voting uh, for games that they've never even played. Even though the instructions that uh, Thomas put out were was to not vote for games that you haven't played. <clears throat> but I think a lot of people like to jump on the bandwagon that Zelda 2 is bad and they just kind of roll with that. No, how did I... Wait, I'm confused. Is it... How do I keep ending up going the wrong way? I, keep... I think I keep looking at blue. And I need to, uh... Looking at red. Who listens or reads instructions nowadays? I don't know, people, people, people love to hate things, right? And I think Zelda 2 has just fallen into that, that sort of area where people will just say they hate it despite not really having any, any, um, interaction with it. I always wonder if they have the same eternal generations of conflict in the Twilight world with their Ganon. And Triforce reincarnation. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Mushroom. Yeah, tw I don't know. Twilight Princess, just, to me, is such a good game. Uh, there's just so much going on there. spoils from these guys. Come on, Link, you can do it. Come on, you can open the chest. Purple Ruby, guys! There it is. Ruby lore. Okay, I didn't even do anything. I'm pretty sure that he just jumped right off all by himself. Okay, good enough for me. Let's go. Later, bird.
Wait, I, now I'm even more confused, because every time I think I'm going the right way, I end up going the wrong way. I thought the red was my... on the compass in the bottom left. I thought the red was my... my the direction that I was going. of the winds. Thanks to you, I have been freed from that beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. Magic power has increased. Yay! Now I have twice as much as I did before. May the winds of fortune always blow across your bow. Let's see what Fishman has to say. When I first saw this game, I thought the windfish would be in it. Oh, that would make me so happy. <laughs> windfish is one of my favorite Zelda characters of all time. This is the guy from the Mega Man team credits, that's right. <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, lately, no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. I have. I... I just saw her, actually. I don't... She was... She's, like, right over there. I said hi to her. She gave me... She gave me more magic. I feel like you maybe could see that from where you are right now. It was... It was, like, just... Just, like, right over there. It wasn't that far. There was, like, a whole big octo and everything. You didn't... You didn't see that. <laughs> All anyone sees anymore are big octos. <laughs> You didn't, you didn't see me, like, take that out, and then the fairy was there. You missed all that? Uh, <laughs> maybe they scared her off. Oh, no, I sure hope they didn't eat her. Uh, thanks for the info. <laughs> I may have, uh, may have already discovered that on my own. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> He's literally right there. Missed opportunity, I agree. The windfish is a gem. Uh, where in the timeline is this game? Well, Skyward is this first game. Yeah, Skyward is the first game, yeah. Uh, I don't remember exactly where Wind Waker falls in the timeline. Um, I could open up Hyrule Historia on my Wii U here. <laughs> we could have a look, but, um, <laughs> but I'm not sure off the top of my head. Fishman stares at big octos and then wonders why great fairies won't talk to him. Speaking of Fishman... Uh, where are you, buddy? Oh, there's a submarine. I should probably open up that submarine chart, huh? Submarine chart. Look, there's a submarine on this... on this... 
section of sea that we're we're currently on. Did I open up all my treasure charts? Okay, we're up to date. I haven't played Skyward. Need to get on that. Need is a strong word. I like Skyward Sword. I think Skyward Sword gets a bad rap because specifically of the motion controls from when it came out. I have not played it on the Switch yet. Uh, I will, obviously, for... for uh, for Triforce Tuesday, I will be doing that, but... But I genuinely like Skyward Sword. I've talked about this before on stream, where I actually find myself thinking quite a lot about Skyward Sword when I think about Zelda games. It was just a really beautiful game, and so many cool areas, and uh, things to be done in that game. And I don't know, I, I, think, I think it's very underrated because it's another game that people love to hate on. Is anybody else getting dizzy? Too many blasty blasts. How many more do I have? One? Is it just you? I can't turn the correct way, because every time... Did I get him? There we go. Surely that's the last one. Oh, okay, there we go. Tossing around the idea of finally finishing Skyward Sword. I really liked the game. Uh, I really did. It's... I don't know. There's, there's so many good things about that game that get overshadowed by the controls. And I understand it, but I also think people just didn't want to give it a chance. No Wind Waker physical copy for Switch. Oh, you just got uh, Skyward Sword. There you go. Ooh, treasure chart. Yeah, this is still locked to Wii U. Yeah, and Twilight Princess, sadly. I really, really wish they would put these on the uh, the Switch. Uh, treasure... Come on, man. Maybe I may I really may be considering using the uh the gamepad instead. Might make my life a little easier. Stamina meter, yep. Uh stamina meter was the uh, that was the intro to the stamina meter in Zelda. Um yeah, I real I talked last week about how much I'm realizing came from this game in terms of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. There's just a lot of things that they used all the way back from this game. And I didn't really realize sort of how influential Wind Waker was to a uh, two future Zelda games. Pretty big on collecting for the Switch. I wouldn't hesitate to buy a game when there's a new game worth getting. My collection is irresponsible. Really? How many how many Switch games do you have? What do you got? Uh, small fry, there's a real heavy stone head blocking the cave on that island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Okay, let me tell you a great secret. If you go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain, you'll, be, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you could lift that stone and toss it out of your way as if it were light as a feather. That's all the info I've got to offer. 107? That's impressive. That's impressive. Bought something like 10 plus since last counting. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that sarcastic TTS <laughs> voice. Wow. <laughs> uh, November, thank you for the 100. Take it away. Hey there, small fry. I'm glad to see you've been eating really well. Have you noticed your boat taking on water? Riding low? No? Wow. 
Well if I were a healthy eater like you, I would watch for that. Open up your sea chart. <laughs> Thank you, November, for the hundred. Wow. <laughs> that's becoming my that's quickly becoming my favorite thing in DTS. Um most are still sealed, really. Uh welcome back, mushroom. Feel like that stone weighs nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Stupid sexy fish man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Even seagull. Easy. That's how you get a heart piece, ladies and gentlemen. I've collected three so far. Stupid sexy fishman, yes I did. <laughs> did I? Sorry, I'm just thinking to myself here. Uh, I think I need to sail back again. I think I missed something a second time. Alright, what do you guys want to talk about? I often misquote The Simpsons. Oh, I often quote The Simpsons and not realize it. Yeah, it's just a it's just a Simpsons reference, but in tandem with Wind Waker and the conversation. Do I have a beard routine? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. Um, I uh, it depends on like whether I'm showering in the morning or not. So it's the same after a shower, no matter what. So I always comb it and then uh, and then I use beard oil. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I shampoo it in the shower uh, and condition depending on the day. Um, but you, there's, they make actual like beard shampoo and conditioner. You, you don't really want to use like your just average shampoo that you could just use for your head because the hair on your face and the hair on your head is actually quite a bit different. Um, but if I'm not, if I don't shower, I just, I just try to, uh, try to wash it as much as possible, and, um... Ah, slow down, slow down, where are you going? And then, also comb it and put beard oil. It's pretty much the same as whether I shower or not. It's just, like, it gets a little... Treated a little bit better in the shower, just because I have more, uh, resources, I guess. I think, I think I just like didn't open the chest here. I can't remember. I think I was so engrossed with talking about whatever I was talking about that I didn't do something here. Or maybe it was somewhere else. Uh, but because it's so long, I need to comb it. Um, Uh, to get the knots and everything out, but uh, it my beard actually uh, is like two years old, like almost to the day, almost. I think maybe last week was like it's it's two year birthday. I've been growing it for two years now without shaving or trimming. No, I did open the chest. Okay. Um. Hi there, how are you? Okay. Hang on, I... What am I missing?
Oh. This is what I'm missing. Uh. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for the, uh, happy birthday. It's Jill's birthday, man. To the beard. Uh, let me catch up on chat here. Streamer's stream is too loud. Ow, my freaking ears! Yeah, that's one of my favorite Simpsons quotes. <laughs> oh, I'm like right here, aren't I? I'm like almost directly on top of it. Here we go. Me sodies do cool, my teeth hurt. Didn't I come here and bail? I forgot to get the uh I forgot to to haul up the treasure there. I completely did not do that. Smarch. <laughs> Lousy smarch weather. <laughs> my birthday is smarch thirty fifth. That sounds about right. We don't know. Your birthday, so we'll celebrate the beard. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's right around two years old right now. Okay. Uh, okay, what's next? Where am I? I've gotten off course here. So that's another heart container. We're doing pretty good. Man, there's just so much... There's so much treasure hunting and things to do in this game to 100% it this is obviously not things that you would have to do typically if you were just playing the game but we're going all out man we're 100%ing these things and you're gonna like it we're just gonna we're just gonna hang out and sail for a little while enjoy the music enjoy the sea you're drinking plenty of Alk? With vitamin R. <laughs> I always drink plenty of Alk. <laughs> A lot of Simpsons fans in chat. I like it. Oh, my head is killing me, man. I don't know. I'm probably going to keep saying this throughout my playthrough, but there's just something so magical about this whole experience. I also really, really love the actual sea, like in real life, just the ocean and everything about it is uh, very... No, oh, I, just, I just love it so much and I think that's, that's why I enjoyed this experience so much personally. Right at the fireworks factory. <laughs> you guys, do you guys like, you know, like the the sea? Do you like sailing? Uh, you know, being out in the ocean like this. This is. I can't tell you how much I love this right here. The, the storm, the like, like. The greenish tint of the sea, everything about it is just so amazing. The Simpsons are going to Delaware. <laughs> I want to visit Wilmington. I want to see a screen door factory. <laughs> I like being far out enough that I can see land. Maybe a football field away. Okay, so you don't like being out there, out there. That's fair. That's why I ask. I, I assume that's a big fear of people. Uh, on the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master swordsman. He's got proof of it too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what that thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. I can't go. Can't give giving away every secret. That's all the info I've got to offer. Apparently you've got more, you just won't tell me. 
Listen. I just, I don't know. <laughs> so nice to me. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm a weirdo. Who knows? All right, you guys, you guys ready for this one? This is a fun island. Look. Look. What, what game is this? Uh, let's get our leaf out. Uh, McMurdo, thank you so much for the lurk, man. I hope you're doing well. Always a pleasure to see you. Fairy is as far as I've gone. I don't like the, the feeling of abyss. I also can't swim. I can do a cruise because I can simulate my senses outside of the abyss. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I don't enjoy the open ocean too much, but I do love sitting out on the bay and throwing out a couple of crab traps and wasting an afternoon. I used to, uh, suppose that would be maybe you and I go out someday, but I used to go crabbing all the time in the, uh, in the Chesapeake. Why? Go away! In my teens. And it's gone. And it's gone. Uh, but yeah, cra crabbing's super fun. Alright, why aren't... Why the, I thought you were supposed to be able to go through them. I guess not. Does the nut pass through them or... Like, am I able to just cheese this and just go on the... No, but... What is going on? I'm confused now. Bye. Does it pass right through? I don't remember. I genuinely don't remember. There's a sea hat watching me. I can't turn the camera the way I want to turn it. This is a disaster. Everybody, look away. Oh, it does pass right through. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, I disagree. Come on! <laughs> uh, thank you, Sabonis, for the what do you mean? That's, first of all, that's a hole in one right there. Didn't even need to use the, le the leaf. I don't know, man. I, I, I like being out on the on the ocean, on the sea. It's fun. Good time. That is not even close. Get in there. Look at that. Look at this guy. Well, it was a hole-in-one from the time I picked up the... I meant that attempt was a hole-in-one. <laughs> Don't contradict me. This is my stream. Uh, look at this. Hole in one. Actual hole in one. Are you happy, Sabonis? Look at that. Actual hole in one. That's the hardest one. Now we agree. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you this fine evening? Morning? I don't know. So beautiful, incredibly beautiful. I'm so glad I bought this kaleidoscope. Are you? Are you so glad?
Could it be? What do you guys think it is? Treasure chart. This one. Ooh, another treasure chart. Imagine how much those treasure charts would be worth unopened. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how that works. treasure chart unopened. <laughs> yeah, look with the ads. try. Another piece of heart. Let's go. read yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah 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 do your thing and then tell me something I probably already know in the comments it says it's a repro <laughs> I've got some information, some great information. Lucky you, if you use a treasure that's hidden on the island there, that thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know, it. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about it. That thing that appears on the nights when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. That's all the info I've got to offer. Yeah, excellent. You are so helpful.
Good luck, fish boy. There he is. Beginning to think the fish is a bit of a dick. <laughs> Glad you only pay him kibble. <laughs> Oi. Do your thing. I need, I need more bait. I'm running out of bait here. Alright, what do you got for me? You've seen the boat sailing around here with the real huge cannons, right, Fry? I haven't actually. Not, not, not in this playthrough yet. I bet you those things have their holes packed with treasure. <sighs> of course, if you don't have a cannon yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. That's all the info I've got to offer. That's a little helpful. That's more helpful than just saying it over and over and over again. You know. So this one kind of sucks. But maybe... Maybe we'll get lucky. I remember having trouble with this particular island in previous playthroughs. Oh, that wasn't that was first try. Let's go. Not bad. Another piece of heart. And... yaha ha A little guy. I'm clean. Okay, um... I'm gonna take a really short break and use the bathroom and also take something from my head because it's... I don't, yeah, I'm not really like safe here. I think I, I think I can get hit. I want you guys to be able to listen to the music, but I don't want to take any damage while I'm gone. Ah, uh, maybe I'm okay. I'll, I'll risk it for you guys. I'll be right back. Hang tight. Alrighty, I'm back. As soon as I left, my rupee fell off uh, the stand. That was nice. Um, I guess there wasn't much music there. Alright, let's continue on. shouldn't have gotten that, but rupees are quite abundant, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, oops.
Hello, help me. Tell me what's here. I think I just ran out of bait. Oh, of course. Uh, I met a really weird guy on the island due east of here. He had a pack on his back. Uh, huger than any pack I've ever seen. I mean, it was B.I.G. Fry. He said he was looking for treasure, but what does he expect to find in a place like that? I tell you, the guy's completely obsessed. That's all the info I've got. Uh, kind of judgmental and rude. Uh, but this actually will... We've done so much... Side, side quests and treasure hunting and such, we're actually going to see a bit of the progression of the story here. Good. Look, Bob, do you see it? What happened to this place? Great Fish Isle. Uh, Mushroom, thank you so much for the water break. Is Mushroom okay? Is that, is that fine? I mean, what, what is the meaning of this the island? It is, we are too late. Whatever I prefer. I knew we had a had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. So maybe if I hadn't been, do you think maybe if I wasn't just like sailing around looking for treasure, or playing with fish, do you think maybe maybe it would have been okay? <laughs> a great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here. But no sign of him remains. Oh, there, Bob. What's up, man? All fine with you? Okay. Mushroom. Mush. Mushroom mystery. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by any chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Dude, what do you got? Jaboon? Jabin? Jab? Jabun? I always say Jaboon. I don't know if that's the intended pronunciation, but I always say Jaboon. Uh, just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the, sh the Shadow and the Forsaken, Forsaken Fortress. Excuse me. But fear not, Javoon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Yeah. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Javoon. The cave where he hides is sealed away with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. Must apologize, Bob. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without, without so much as thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It was lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas. This place suffers under a dark cloud and rain. Blue must have been right when he asked me to bring the word of Jaboon to you. He called this island a curse. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Okay, bye! Uh, so we should leave immediately, so of course I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to look for that's, that's That's the right thing to do.
Oh no. Oh, I can't climb up onto the barrel. Link, no. Oh, I was right next to the boat. Yeah, so, so, so Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? Yeah, why don't we? When I'm ready. Also, I see, I see, uh, I see Beetle hanging out. I need more bait. Let's let's have a little chat here, Beetle. What do you what do you say, buddy? What are you doing here with the weather this bad? Oh, you don't have, you don't have bait. Uh, what do you got? Red potion? Bye. I'll pass, I'll pass, buddy. Uh, was really hoping you had some bait for me, but turns out you're worthless to me right now. Too far. Where are you going, Mr. Red Lion? Yo, Scrum. Thank you so much for the raid, buddy. What's up, Bracky? Scrum, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good stream today. Welcome in, raiders. Please give Scrum a follow if you're not already following. There you go. Do the thing. Hit the button. A little heart pops up. You need to click it. That means you'll be following Scrum. And then you'll be friends. How you guys doing today? What were you uh what were you streaming today, Scrum? Welcome in, Buscadon. Good to see you. We got all the all the good friends here. Hope you're having the best day ever. I have a migraine right now, um, Bracky, but uh, I'm doing okay otherwise. You know, I'm hanging in there as as I do. How are you doing, buddy? How are you guys? Playing some Wind Waker today. Or Triforce Tuesday, in which I 100% every Zelda game known to man. Which is not hard to do at all. What's up, October? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. I did art and finished Kiro Blaster hard mode. Nice. I hope you had fun. That sounds like a good time. At the meet. <laughs> Underutilized emote. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your migraine. Uh, it, it's honestly October. Thank you. It happens quite often to me. It's not the end of the world. It's just it's just annoying. Um, I did plan initially on doing sort of more of a regular length stream. My streams have been shorter recently, but I think I'm... We'll see how things go uh, and where I get a sort of natural break in the in the game today, and I might have to cut it a little shorter. Migraine gang, woo! I had one over the weekend as well that just did not go away the whole day. I woke up with it, and it lasted the entire day, and that's such a pain in the butt. Uh, but... I'm used to it. It's just something I live with. Um, it's something that I maybe will bring up to my my primary care physician the next time I see them, and maybe try to get some sort of relief for this. But most of the time, I'll just take um, over-the-counter medication and hope that works. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. You know. That didn't, that didn't go as planned. Uh, what's up, Ivy? What's up, Future? Welcome in, everybody. Holy. I got a ton of people here all of a sudden. I got a bunch of friends. I appreciate you guys being here. How are you? How is everybody doing? Uh, 
I got a migraine aura yesterday and said nope and went right to bed. Um, I don't get those. I just have... I've heard people talk about them. I know Ethan has mentioned that before. Um, I don't get those. My, my migraines are just specifically pain. It's just all pain. <laughs> it up again. This is not good. Uh, what's good, Ivy? Hope you're doing well, man. Always a pleasure. So many things that give me headaches all the time and it sucks. Me too, Bracky. Me too. Uh, heat, heat is actually one of the main causes of my migraines. Heat's a big one for me. I'm going to watch while I pretend to pay attention to a meeting that's starting in six minutes. Good luck at your meeting in six minutes. I'm glad I can be of some entertainment. Uh, the auras can be helpful because you know the headache is coming, but I can't see anything and it's awful. I don't experience that. It's just, it's just full-on pain. Uh, I used to get op ophthalmic? Ophthalmic? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Migraines, but taking a daily magnesium supplement for other reasons seems to have stopped them. That's interesting. Uh, magnesium was rec recommended to me by my therapist, and I have not started that. Uh, I did want to talk to my doctor prior to just, like, doing anything. Uh, where am I supposed to go here? Hang on a moment. continue I'll continue talking but I can't tell where I'm meant to go so dark mode. Oh, I ran out of magic! Oh my god, this is the worst. Where can I get magic? Oh man. I've really messed this up big time. I'm a dumb dumb. Still can't even tell where I'm supposed to go. Boy. Well, I think I've really soiled this one. One moment. I, I promise I will catch up with that. I'm just confused. And I'm probably going to drown here. This stinks. Sorry, guys. Um, let me catch up here. So that's a migraine aura I've been having the whole time before the pain kicks in. Part of your vision has become a kaleidoscope. Oh, wow. Wow. 
I consider myself very lucky not to have to deal with any of this. Something you don't want to have to deal with. Yeah, mig migraines are the worst. Um, I don't know if... Go down to Needle Point, Needle Rock, whatever this is called here. Um, the aura gets a in the way of your vision. When I was between 11 and 13, I got regular migraines. It would cause tunnel vision. Uh, but tunnel vision didn't happen before the pain, but at the same time. Uh, so with me, it just, everything, everything hurts. Everything is just painful to, to look at and uh, just my, my head is just like, a, it's just like a splitting headache constantly. Uh, that's my experience for migraines. I, it, it does affect things. Uh, hello there. It does affect things like my vision and my balance and things like that. Like, I have to be careful when I'm going down the stairs and things like that. Uh, because it does affect that. Oops. Um. But I'm able to function. It also, sometimes depending on how, how bad they are, it can make me nauseous, which is, I'm actually feeling uh, nausea from this one specifically, but that's not always the case. Um, but I, you know, like, I don't know, I've learned to just power through them and just deal with them. I've really not ever had much of a choice in that matter, because I used to get them when I was young, and I would just, you know, parents are like, well, you gotta go to school, you can't just stay home because of a headache, because they don't take it seriously, and then, like, I've, I've worked jobs where I wasn't allowed to take days off, no matter, like, what I was experiencing, so, uh, I had an IT job in which I would stare at a computer all day, and... I wasn't allowed to take a day off if I had like a horrible migraine, so I've I've learned just to deal with it and just I just function normally. Like you guys probably would have no idea if I didn't bring it up, but I I pretty much just like to tell you guys so that you know if um, you see see or hear anything odd happening and if I say things like I need to take a break or end the stream early. That's pretty much the only reason I even bring it up. Uh, I don't I don't need sympathy. It's, it is what it is. It's just a, uh, you know, just a part of life at this point. But that's why I mentioned it in the first place. Uh, I didn't get as much magic as I'd like to here. That's pretty lame. There is a, uh, there's a letter for us, though. Let's take a look at that. Good evening! Letters for Bob, we have one! Here's your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crust and return to me, says Orca. And he also offers me a red rupee, which I cannot hold right now, but thank you, Orca. Uh, they always ended in vomiting. Oh, and I pronounced it correctly, yay! Okay, good luck with your meeting. Yeah, nausea, nausea is another possible symptom for me. Uh, I want to go... Nope. This is not right at all. I can't figure out this compass in this game. Maybe I'm too dumb. Too dumb for the compass. Uh, streamer focusing on the game, how dare you? I don't know if what I had is called a migraine, but I've had it once or twice where I can't focus on the center of my vision, unless I have my left eye closed and I get a massive headache. Sounds sounds like a migraine. It definitely sounds like a migraine. Uh, and people people experience them in all different ways, as, as you can tell. Uh, wow, I really did not get much magic from that trip there. And I can't tell where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe I'll sail around a little bit here. Uh, what's up, Misa? Holy! Retro, welcome back. Hope you're doing well, Misa. Always a pleasure to see you. Doctor confirmed. Dr. Meech. Uh, don't consult me for anything medical. Because I'm a moron.
I am really struggling to see. Um, sometimes the pain gets so bad that the eyelid on the side that has pain just hangs low, as if my eyes about to close shut. Um, yeah, it can definitely it can definitely have uh, physical effects as well. Playing games hard in your eyes with a migraine, absolutely, 100%. It is very difficult, and that's why I bring it up. That's why I tell you guys when I am experiencing the migraine because I might have to, you know, like cut stream shorter than I typically would, or have to take a break. Uh, especially during a speed run, I might just have to just stop, <laughs> which can be counterintuitive. Uh, I really do not see it. Oh, there it is! There it is! I found it! Okay. Holy. Yeah, M Misa, Misa has a great name. Agreed. Meech wanted to go incognito one day after streaming. He would literally only have to shave. I have thought about this. <laughs> uh, I've thought about this, Misa. I've thought it like if I ever wanted to just have a new identity and run away and leave everything behind, shave the head, shave the beard, take off the glasses. Who would know? Who would know it's me? I would be able to trick my own family. Nobody would know. Okay, I got my eye on it. I think it's right there. It's that little... Yeah, that's that's the John right there. That's where we need to go. Okay. I could have had Meech crack my back. How was your... How was your chiropractic appointment? Yeah, all you have... Yeah, you're right. You would be able to get me by quoting Seinfeld. That's true. I would really have to restrain myself. <laughs> Oh yeah, first try. Easy game. Went good, feeling a bit better. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. There's our precious piece of art. That's why I spent... You know, way too long doing this. Where did I leave my boat? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Uh, this is a stormy sea here today. What section of the game are we currently in? So, uh, I guess it doesn't show up on my map any longer, but King of Red Lions was telling us to go to where I just was uh, to look for the next pearl, because we had we have already finished the first two temples, if you want to call them temples. And when we arrived here, we just got word that the pirates tried to infiltrate my home of Outset, and they are currently at Windfall, so I have to go to Windfall. So I am progressing the story while doing treasure hunting and side quests and all that fun stuff, so there is there is some story progression. Uh, do you think Squeaks will turn into a 20k Andy, like QT said he would? Um, it's, it's, it's very possible. I mean, I'm I'm just, like just so amazed and happy about his success, and uh, it's it's impossible to to talk to him anymore, which stinks. Because I I there was a time where I used to actually feel like there was like a you know able able to chat, and he knew he knew his chatters and everything, and that's that's when he had like 200, right? Now it's impossible. <laughs> Weeks does deserve the world. I 100% I agree. I don't think anybody has has given me as much entertainment as he has. Um, I have reached out to him in the past, way you know when I first started watching him, and when he when he only had you know between 100 and 200 viewers, and let him know like when I was like struggling through 
through hard times, which is still still a thing that's going on in my life. Uh, but he bring he has just brought a lot of joy to me, um, and I just enjoy his content. And I I'll joke around. I'll do the whole I'll, you know the whole thing with chat. Uh, but I'm I might be one of his most wholesome chatters. You can't ever see it anymore because it's impossible uh, in his in his chat. But uh, I always say, like, good luck, ha hope you're having a good day, and then I'll just Glover D the rest of the time, just because it's fun. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't really jump on board. I, I will roast him, I've roasted him a lot in the past as, as a joke, but, um, out of, like, all the chatters he's had, there's probably not a ton of people who are like, Yo, Squeeze, good luck, hope you're having a good day today, hope you get a PV, that kind of thing. <laughs> but, man, um... As much as I love to see how, like, the success and his growth and everything, uh, I miss, I miss the days where it felt like your chat message could be seen. <laughs> I don't know, it felt like, you know, it, those days were so much fun being able to talk to each other in the chat and getting to know everyone. Now, uh, it's just ballooned so much, which is great. You know, I'm, uh, I'm envious of of how, how much he's grown, um, envious and very, uh, happy for him. But, uh, it's definitely a different era. Oh, hello, Yellow Jew. Oh, thanks. Thanks for taking care of that for me, I guess. Ah, uh, one sec, Misa. I was there when he had 60 viewers, it was awesome. I, I didn't discover him till, I think, probably, like I said, between when he regularly had uh, between 100 and 200. Gosh. And it was still tame enough <laughs> where you got to know everybody in the chat. And um, But then I, I remember like when it took off. The other day, actually, this is, this is funny, Misa. Um, the other day, Oh, I guess it. I guess it was in in one of his YouTube videos, um, and he he was talking to each other. I think somebody had asked why like "Show Me Your Pants" was out of stock, and he was like, "I had to I had to like limit it to five because there was days where I'd be sore from having to to show it." And I I remember the specific stream that he. He nerfed <laughs> the redeem. <laughs> I remember when that happened because the day before, uh, people kept redeeming it over and over and over, and the mods were just refunding the points. <laughs> and um, he would just he just have he had to just constantly be standing. I like I remember that so vividly. I'm like, oh wow, like that. It feels like so long ago now. <laughs> kick my feet on and desk and bounce up and down when I see you guys live. He's the best. Glover D. Back to Magnesium. Uh, my nutritionist put me on it. I don't remember what for because there was a bunch of supplements I started at the same time for different things. An ophthalmologist doctor lately later told me Magnesium helps with migraines. Probably why I stopped having them. Um, I've heard, I mean, my therapist, I told you, recommended magnesium for me, and apparently it helps with depression as well. Apparently. I have not, I have not experimented with it yet. Uh, my favorite one was the stream where a staff member joined the stream and everybody was just redeeming fans. Was, was that it? Was that the one? That might have been the same one. We might, we might be thinking of the same one, Misa. <laughs> the staff was like, take off your pad, dude. <laughs> I love how, like, D-Gen everybody in his chat is, <laughs> even the staff. I was like, I remember him screaming, be like, you're part of staff, you're not supposed to be saying this. <laughs> I remember, like, Weak Frank. Weak Frank used to come into his stream a bunch. I think that was his name, right? But yeah, I mean, oh yeah, Jada. Yeah, that's right, Jada. 
That's right. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, north. Where am I facing? Oh, this is north. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. I'm unbelievably happy for him and amazed at how he he has taken off and. Uh, it's just so cool to see. Like, I, I aspire to be Squeaks one day. Just with hair. <laughs> Alright, what do these guys have to say? Anything new? Yeah, bub! Collecting treasure, bub? Uh, I think this is the... Yeah, this is the same thing that they've been telling me. Dude, his... Yeah, his his Dr. K interview was incredible. I, I really enjoyed uh, watching that. Really, really enjoyed it. Oh, please, you don't have to... I'm just trying to sail. I'm just trying to sail. Let me out. Uh, actually, that was my intro. Uh, that was my introduction to Dr. K, Misa. Um, I have heard, I've heard Dr. K brought up a lot because of, because of Squeaks and people joking around about it. Uh, but I don't, I don't know anything about him. And then, after I watched Squeaks' interview, I was getting recommendations on YouTube, uh, for more. And yesterday, actually yesterday, I, like, binged, like, three or four different interviews. And they're all a couple, a couple hours long. Um, all right, enjoy your lunch, health. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. What time is it? It's already 11.30. Um, yeah, so that was that was my introduction. I liked it so much, so I started I started just, like, watching other in interviews and um, very, very good content. Very good content. Are you out of stock of everything? Give me bait. I want bait. Let's just get the let's get the silver membership right here and right now. Thank you. Kind of crazy the level of introspection Squeaks has done. I really appreciated the different point of view. It he like obviously he he acts goofy and everything, but he is such a smart guy. Thank like you. for real. Um and it it was really amazing to to hear his point of view on everything and uh, just how he speaks about with, you know his experiences in his life. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing interview. I've earned the silver membership. We give luxurious gift to all of our silver members. It's the least we could do. I'll send it to you shortly. Should be arriving in the post box near you any day. Promise me you'll wait anxiously for it. Next, try to earn our gold membership. No. I mean yes, but no, not right now. Self-aware, yeah. I mean, one of the things... Oh, I'll continue in a moment. It's just as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but uh, if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Bob, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Um, the What drew me to Squeaks in the first place when I... Because I I just enjoy Super Mario 64 and um, the the whole reason I found out about him was through just enjoying the SM64 community and watching speedruns and then seeing I would often see Cobra's videos his like fail compilation videos and every single time time that Squeaks was in it oh gosh nice jump dummy uh, it would it would crack me up like every single time and I was following so few people on Twitch at the time when I discovered like Cobra's videos and everything and uh, I, I, I wouldn't I I don't know I had reservations about following too many people on Twitch at the time I was like ah, I just want to follow a handful because this is like early in my my whole Twitch you know career 
my whole Twitch watching experience. And so I would I would see him a lot, but I never gave him a follow. I never went to his stream, but I would I would love every time he appeared in one of those videos. It would crack me up. And finally I was just like, I gotta follow this guy. Um, because he had he he I feel like he and I have such a similar sense of humor. Like lit there are certain things. Uh, there's a cutscene here. Uh, look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we got that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for all the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? I bet you're thinking it was so it was foolhardy to ask Pyrus to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over the bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh. Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, I tell you. The minute I set eyes on that Bob, I just knew he was hiding something at back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. Presto, he spills the beans. Oh, that was still him talking that whole time? I wish there was, like, an indication. Good work, Gonzo, really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Yeah, you dock him some fair something. Quit goofing off, both of you. I'm pretty sure we gave her the Valley Girl voice, right? <laughs> Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. Second, you're done loading them up. We're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss. We have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we're on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah. How about we gr How about we get Arby's? Feels like an Arby's. <laughs> How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way. If whatever you say is fine, miss. Is what I mean to say. It's just the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah. And I can't help to think that it would be an awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper leave. So what do you say we set sail tomorrow? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools, you know that? You should... You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to onset. To onset? To outset. Or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but this, by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Aye aye. Uh, I don't know who's asking. Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Maka, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Today's password is Jumily, yeah? Remember? Jumily, remember that. For real. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Jumily, yeah? Jumily, eh? Jumily, you say? Oh, can I do Hank Hill? Yeah. <laughs> Hank Hill's like my the thing, the main thing that people want me to do. <laughs> um, I don't know. What, what do you want me to say in, in Hank, Hank voice? to be you, dude. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Uh, usually I just do it on the fly based on whatever's happening. Uh, what I was what I was saying 
about squeaks before the cutscene. <laughs> shopkeep ain't right. Boy, I tell you what, that shopkeep ain't right. Doing his presidential address, narrate the game. <laughs> presidential address? <laughs> I have no no idea. What what would Hank say during a presidential address? Uh Would he say, my fellow Americans? <laughs> I'm darn tired. Hang on. We got we got one. Narrate all 250 episodes of The King of the Hill to us and Hank's voice. <laughs> I take it back. My fellow Americans, I'll tell you what. I've got no plan for the future, and I don't know what to do with this country. You've all ruined it. And I'm no George Bush, I tell you what. I don't, I don't know what to say. Giving a presidential address. How do you treat a shark? You treat it chum chummily. That's very funny. I'm, I'm cracking up over here. We are a country built on propane and propane accessories. <laughs> it's a good stream idea. We just watch a King of the Hell episode and you narrate the characters. <laughs> Charmily. Yeah, that's right. Right, you may enter. Um, yeah, I, I've got some things um, in the works in terms of uh, stream ideas. I had to take away certain... Uh, channel point redemptions, but I plan on adding new ones soon, hopefully, if I get some time to work on it during my time off. Um, but, uh, you know, you might you might see an appearance of King of the Hill related things. It's your preferred toilet paper. <laughs> Two ply. In this economy? Oh, Bob, my old swabby Bob. So you're alive. All the other pirates said that you you got done in by oh you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought never mind what I thought, you're alive. Oh I get it now, you came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so bad. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't you get... Why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This is this one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see that... You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the route, right? Well, last time, when you press the switch, the platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one, one rope to the next. Pretty tough. How many, how many tries does this take me? That's not all. This time I've put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens up the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Don't call me that. How come the gate opens for you? Uh, the switch that opens this gate is in the same place as before. Go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs that we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, swabby. Um, anyway, what I was saying regarding just weeks before, I got incredibly distracted by the game, the game even, and Hank Hill impressions, is just that, like, what drew me to him it was his, like, sense of humor, and, uh, we have a very similar sense of humor, and when I started watching him, I was actually, uh, amazed by a lot of similar mannerisms that he and I, he and I both share. Um, so I, I thought that was pretty cool, and uh, just being... Eh. Can't make that. Oh, there we go. What a gamer. Um, I don't know, just being in his stream was always, always a treat. Uh, welcome back, November. Your meeting went well. What a jump. 
Am I gonna make it? First try? Second try, I guess, technically. Easy game. What? You gotta be... You did it already? You're... You're incredible. This isn't good. I never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? If I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You are the best Swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious. Okay? Okay? Okay. Surely nothing, uh, nothing bad will happen. Yo, Morgan. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Thank you for the good luck. And the have fun. I was given no task, so good meeting. We got bombs! We can use the bombs. It's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal the treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, you know? That's not what it says. You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a uh, simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. Uh, no one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. Oh, this is Tetra the whole time. I'm supposed to be doing a voice. Oh, well. Uh, I'm blaming my, my migraine. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. Going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right behind you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. I'm gonna take my time. How's that sound? That's just throwing shade on my brother, that's right. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. This child has explosives. Excellent. Mean girls fish. Luminescence. Is that truly is that truly one of the long fabled forest fireflies from Forest Haven? My fine assistant Bob. For ages it has been said that the forest fireflies possess a mystical power. In the old days, they were required for making colored pictographs, but no longer. I hate to see you leave with nothing after you went through so much trouble to show it to me. I offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me it's, it has value of sorts. Elderly? Uh, so we get a joy pendant. But actually, so what he mentioned there, uh, from here onward, you must travel the world, spreading the joy of pictography all around. And as your heart swells with it, with this satisfaction, perhaps I'll have more pictographs to share. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, so in the in the original version of the Wind Waker, you actually need to show him the forest firefly to take colored pictographs. So what he mentioned there about you know, 
in the old days. He's actually referring to the original <laughs> original Wind Waker game, which is pretty cute. Uh, it just gives you a little, you know, joy pendant in this version, uh, but it's kind of a little Easter egg. standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's that you say? Oh no, he didn't say you say. What's Chew Jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered. Oh sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? I do, actually. I've got a bunch of it. Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is just bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? Who is this dude? Can't remember them. So he's he's like the potion the potion shop owner. Uh, I almost never do this retro. Uh, he's he's easily forgotten about because I never use potions in Zelda, and I never visit him in Wind Waker. Uh, I almost never visit potion shops at all at all in Zelda games. Um, what might that be? Why, sir, this is no potion ingredient. You told me if I had an empty bottle. Uh, this is the Chew Jelly Juice Shop. We use only 100% natural Chew Jelly here. I assure you. He told me he would give me a free... Didn't he just say he would give me a free sample? What am I, dumb? I don't... Here. How about this? Make green potion. Is that... Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Mmm, oh, ah! This is extremely rare color of chew jelly. Is it? It's pretty common, actually. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one in this particular hue. On paw print aisle, a small atoll... Famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. For when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I've been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, that's it. 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 That's, it. that's the sparkle I was looking for. The sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! You don't want artificial chew gel. Explains why you don't remember. I don't like it. I don't like it when people tell me to ask myself. <laughs> I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new unheard of kind unheard of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I began my now legendary studies of chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first inspiration in years vanishes. This is very lengthy. I couldn't tell you the last time I did this at all. I really couldn't. I don't remember any of this. It's ready at last, my new chew jelly concoction. Still piping hot, and I want you to have the first batch, my fellow fellow jelly connoisseur. Ooh, we got green potion. La dee do! My next project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You come back anytime. Okay, bye. Um, I will actually. I will go ahead and take this. No, I don't want to show it to you. Oh. I want to use it. Low on magic anyway. Can I... Can we give him blue? Blue chew? Is this enough for him to do something with? <gasps> Is that gonna be you? Did you by chance bring me Jew Jelly? Okay, is he going to... He's just going to say the same thing. I am not reading this a second time. Oh, I don't have enough. I'm sorry, but could you bring these to me in groups of, oh, say, about 15? Uh, so yeah, the blue, the blue chews, the chews are rare in this game. But that's okay. No matter.
Later, nerd. Blue Chew tastes like yeah, you who. <laughs> Um, use mediocre letters for Bob. We have one letter. Here is your letter. Notice from Beetle's Shop Ship Ship Shop. Whatever. Shouldn't it be called Ship Shop? Uh, it's it's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst on this. That has burst onto the scene. Bombs. We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Chip chart. So the Beetle Shop near you today, offer not available in all regions. And this is a huge opportunity from Beetle. Yay, now we always know where to find Beetle. Uh, he's he's on all these these islands or these squares of sea. Uwu. <laughs> yep. Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning if you... Uh, you must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Bob. I remember him cos cosplaying in the one square. Yes, yeah, he wears, he wears like a, a mask, and I'm, I vaguely remember if there's a reason for that. I think there is. be doing a lot of sailing here. A lot of sailing. I want Link to go to... I want Link to go by Robert after he gets the Master Sword and feels more adult. <laughs> I guess I might as well stop along the way and feed our fish friend. Uh, if I could find him, that is. You guys see him? Is he by that site? Where is he? You guys see? Oh, there he is. small fry yeah 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 tell me tell me what's up let me tell you something small fry the school on windfall island has one gorgeous teacher does it but the thing is, this gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Somebody's got to scold those scoundrels. Set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me? I feel like I've done that already. I feel like uh, that is not new information to me, but I appreciate you uh, existing. No, 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 what? Oh, okay, it's just... Like, close. Uh, foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you, let the winds of Cyclos... Cyclos' wrath blow you away. Okay, well, uh, I don't want that to happen. I'm trying my best to avoid this, but I'm getting sucked directly into it. November, thank you for the 100. Take it away. Hey there, small fry. 
I'm surprised you could see me considering your height disadvantage. <laughs> How old are you again? Really? Wow. Maybe drink more milk. I'm sure you will get taller one day. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for the 100 uh, November going towards our Master Quest playthrough. Uh, it would seem that the Wind God Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise not to, to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see on the seas. If only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones, then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. Do not have the item that can pierce distant targets. What do you think that could be? If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power key that I'm on. Uh, where did this jet me off to? Oh, okay. I'm just next door. <laughs> uh, is there... Fishy man, there he is. This is this is Tingle's Island here. Oh, he smile for I. See what he has to offer us this time. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. That's very judgmental of you. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. Just goes to show you that you can't judge a person by on appearance alone, fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when he when it comes to when it comes time to pay his deciphering fee, you'd better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. That's all the info I've got to offer. Right. It was nice talking to you. I'll try not to get sucked up by any more cyclones. November, thank you for the additional 100. Hey there, small fry. Got pulled into a cyclone, huh? I've never heard of anyone actually getting pulled into it before. I mean, most people just know how to sail when they're out this far. Sailing isn't for everyone. Let's see that sea chart. <laughs> Thank you, November. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't give me the sarcastic wow. They're so mean. They are mean. Uh, I can't find him on this one. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Why is he way over there? Small fry. Only three more to go before we're finally <laughs> done talking to this fish for a little bit. You've seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Yeah, well, those are a sure sign that there's treasure in the deeps, fry. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine. Yeah, there are like these. There are these special ones that shine like crazy only when you open a treasure chart. They say that those mark those mark the spots where the greatest treasures are hidden. That's all the info I've got to offer. Later. Oh gosh, I went in after him that time. Had a bit of a vendetta to settle, I suppose.
Oh, shoot, I don't have my bait out. Oi, small fry! Oi, fish man. So tell me, small fry, have you heard about the Golden Triumph Forks? There are such things. And that island there has one of the golden items you keep hearing about. If you want it, try asking that huge, grouchy looking stone watcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing, though. You've got skinny arms, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. The only info you have is that I have skinny arms? That feels personal. Not like my parents. He's making my case. He is. Absolutely is. Okay, there's another cyclone up there. You're clear of that one. Please don't capture me. Uh, where's the fish? There he is. I think he's out there in the distance. Very hard to tell in the storm. Uh, I've lost him. Maybe I didn't see him after all. You guys see the fish? Boy, I, I don't see him. I thought I saw him. I thought I saw him jumping out over this way. There he is. Right in the middle of the cyclone. That bodes well for me. Boy, small fry. Boy, fish man. Small fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? Yeah, I, I have actually. The wind, the wind deity Cyclos uses the cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously, or so I've heard. Could just be a rumor. Oh, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up the power that his power easily. You can't get near this guy, so you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. But you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, I tell you. I'll tell you. You get my point, Fry? That's all the info I've got to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I keep going in after him. Okay, one more interaction with this guy and we'll be, we'll be safe for a little while. Mr. Fishman this time. There he is. Okay. 
Boy, small fry. Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived in the, who lived to the south of here in the forest on outside island, outset island even. But now all that's left is the ruins of the fairy fountain where she lived. Sort of sad. To tell you the truth, I hear there is there still is a fairy there. Yep, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Hmm. Perhaps that's helpful. Edward Eric? Who's that? Alchemist reference, a short character who got told he didn't drink enough milk. <laughs> Here we are. Have you noticed, Bob? Morning has not broken since we've arrived at Greyfish Isle. The land was so ravaged by monsters. It is as, it is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Baloo spoke of. Whatever the reason, if night does not end, then we need not worry about the pri pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. After I do? If I... Oh, I guess I, I, guess I have to. I guess he's forcing me to. Let's go talk to Grandma real quick. Yo, what's up, Pickle? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Hi, Grandma. Oh, uh, Bob. RL, don't go, don't leave, don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. Uh, that was a nice visit. Good to see you, grandma. Hope you're doing well. Bye forever, grandma. Now to uh, continue on with the part you've all been waiting for. Are you ready? If that's the case, then we must search for the cave around the backside of Outset Island, where Jaboon is said to hide. Uh, some main quest action for you guys, finally. You know, we've been doing a lot not involving the main quest, but here we are. Nope. Alright, can I... Figure this out. Can't tell where I'm aiming. There we go. Now I can tell. She died because of the broken healthcare system of Outset Island. <laughs> Arg! We did it. And somehow that, you know, stopped the whirlpool from whirlpooling. So pretty. Look how beautiful. Sorry, I don't speak Italian. I think I, I think I made that joke already in this in this playthrough. 
Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. I agree. I agree. Unfortunately, that is not so. Okay, okay. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. Jaboon is so cool. I have it. We got the third pearl. So you guys thought I wasn't doing anything to progress the quest. And all this time, I was going for Nehru's pearl. Uh, the water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. Bye. So, that foul rain and the endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. That'd be cool. I have. Fantastic. Big fish. Big fish is kind of cute. Uh, Jaboon is cute. I agree. Uh, Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Bob? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your seed chart. Once you have placed e each one of the pearls in this proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than you have, uh, th greater than any you have faced thus far. Uh, you should finish any business you have here on outset right now. So that you shall not have any regrets later. Okay. Sounds good to me. It also sounds like a good time to uh, take a break. We're going to dock our boat. And then take a little break. And then come back and continue. There we go. Fantastic. Too realistic. Uh, speaks an ancient tongue, but how does he taste? Well, I don't know, Lord Jabu Jabu. He's not for eating. I thought you ate kelp or something. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna take a small break to feed my cat and probably grab something for myself to hopefully help my migraine. So let's take a, let's take a break together. How is Zelda? Uh, it's going pretty well. I, uh, I'm making a little progress towards the story, but there's so much to do in this game that I've been doing a ton of different side adventures and things like that. Oh my god, October, no. Oh, if you guys see, I did actually fix... I went back and fixed my Wii U. I don't know what was wrong with it, but I fixed the date and time. Um... So, I think I know where I'll end up stopping today. We'll have to see where we are on time. I don't want to spend a ton of time in stream today just because of my, my head. Uh, but I think I know where I want to break. Again, we'll see 
where we are on uh, on time and everything, but I do have an idea. I'll try to get as much done as possible, but we will uh, we'll just have to see. That's all. first. I mean, I'm hoping that having me eat something will help a little bit, and also taking medicine. But, yeah. We'll see how that works out, because sometimes that does help, and sometimes it just doesn't. Sometimes I'm just stuck with it. Yeah, I've got a I've got a migraine. Caffeine can help with migraine sometimes. Yeah, I actually it's funny because that's that was I was like so desperate the other day over the weekend when I had a migraine that I actually was like I'm gonna drink a coke. Which I never do. Is this not correct? Like, well, that's not good. Um. I'm a bit confused. Uh. Yeah, I actually was, like, so desperate to get rid of my migraine that I was like, I'm gonna have a soda. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy and have a soda. And it, it still didn't help. I have tried that a handful of times. Pain in the butt. So close. If I could only fly to the top of that hill, if only beneath that rock head and the... Oh, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It's a secret. Yes, quite a secret. Now. Now we can reach it. Not a gamer. have something to do with what the fish man told us. A little itty bitty fairy. Oh my god! Young waker of the winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. Do it! Do it, I dare you. Pretty fairy. Now I can hold up to a thousand rupees. That's twice as many. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. It makes me sad that the fairy in the bottle is sad. Like, why do they need to do that? It just makes me feel guilty. Can you take a picture of fairies? I don't... I genuinely don't remember. Does that count towards... Oh. 
Oh, yeah, it, it counts. Okay. <laughs> Look at that picture, that's so good. <laughs> was excellent. Hope you're doing well today, Tom. Thank you so, so much for 13 months. That's more than a year. Uh, going towards our Phantom Hourglass Ship Parts Collection. Hope you're doing well today, buddy. Uh, good evening. We have one letter for Bob. Here's your letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with the unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. This is your big chance. Do you have uh, do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the ship sh shop ship near Rockspire Island. First come, first serve. Can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rockspire Shop Ship. We get a rupee with it as well. Smack dab in the middle of vacation. R. Whereabouts are you right now? Are you in Poland or are you elsewhere at the moment? Time for beer and considering an early night. Mushroom, thank you for the hundred. Wow. A fairy that blessed you with pretty petals and a bigger wallet. Do they exist IRL? <laughs> Asking for a friend. That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the hundred. Wow. <laughs> I appreciate it, Mushroom. Yo, welcome back, Health. You are in Poland. Awesome. I hope you have a wonderful time, Tom. Uh, thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, how woke is the wind? Oh, well, I actually just got back from a break, but uh, we did progress some of the main storyline, so that's I'm sure people are happy about that. Uh, Grandma here is not feeling too well. Eric, yo, what's up, Eric? Thank you so much for the hundred. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Take it away. Hello, everyone. Brian here. Mikari, it is wonderful mm -hmm. to see you this morning, and I wish a wonderful LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
Oh, you're such a sweet child. I'm a native speaker confirmed. <laughs> oh, that's right. You and your sister. Should she have... <laughs> Do you guys remember Sahasrila? <laughs> Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't do it. Uh, you and your sister, RL, are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here, moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Bob. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Bob, this is all I have to keep. This is, oh, I don't know why I read keep. This is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. That's where I got keep from. We got elixir soup. It's healthy soup. Your grandmother makes replenishes all of your life energy and magic power. Met up with a teacher at a middle school to catch up when you got hoagies. Nice. Hope it was nice. Uh, your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle. So full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it any time you like. Grandma's trying to be strong. Uh, you try to be strong too, or something like that. Don't do anything reckless. All right. Have fun waking the wind. I'm gonna have a beer. Enjoy your beer, Tom. Enjoy your vacation. I hope you guys have a wonderful time over there in good old Polish land. Yeah, let me get that soup recipe. Yep. Roasted turkey with peppers. Nice. Hot peppers. Sweet peppers. Um, this is, this, what do you guys want to chat about? Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong, what are you doing here? Hello. Uh, actually I can probably take, I can probably take pictures of these people while I'm here. Oh, both. Nice. Very, very nice. Uh, what are you actually doing here? I think I can hold 15 photos on this, right? Hopefully it's not just 10. Yeah, okay. I think I think you can hold 15. Maybe more, but I don't remember. Uh, we'll have to make a stop at a uh, good old Nintendo gallery and get some of our photos turned into figures. Can you look up her dress? Don't know, haven't tried, don't want to. <laughs> ah, Bob, you are all right. Why did you not tell me about RL? That was thoughtless of you. This island has been, this island has seen hard times ever since you parted. Departed, parted? Which one did he say? I don't know, either way they're the same. I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eyes, not the one you left here with. Very good, show me how much you've improved with your sword skills. Okay, so this is the part, like, where do you, uh, what do you want to talk about? Why is he shirtless? Uh, uh, thank you guys for the hype train, I really appreciate that. Um, this, I don't know if, hopefully this won't take me too long, too many tries. I'll probably have to get the hang of it in the first place, but... Uh, if I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me a hundred times or more before I hit you three times. So we'll see. We'll see how we do here. If I can get it first try, I would be, I would be pretty thrilled with that, honestly. But it's been... No, I hit A! Oh, come on! I didn't hit B. Controller's wrong. Uh, it has been a very long time since I've done this. Okay. I guess, I guess maybe first try is no good. We'll see. We'll see if I can make it. You might be thinking, oh, like, 100's not that bad. And it's not. 100, 100's not that bad. <laughs> I 
You forgot about this. This is, uh... This is a lot of fun. Oh, I'm dead. Well... 65. Uh, remember, you may grow in strength, others grow stronger as well. You come here to practice as often as you like. Alright, let's try it again. What's the goal with this? Well... I'm not going to give it away immediately, but the initial goal is 100 times or more without getting hit. Uh, more than three times. Or getting hit three times. Would you rather do this or 100 drums in Super Mario RPG? This. This is a lot less particular. But... I don't know, I, I mean, that's a, that's a little difficult to choose between the two. But I think I would take this over having to do the super jumps in RPG. Yo, what's up, Natalie? Good to see you, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling a little better. Yes, A, Nat. is you don't really want to get him up against the walls. Alright, we're doing okay. No! I just had to say something. No! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, no. Alright, well, it didn't take my input at all that time. I did react. I'm still under the weather. Oh, I'm sorry, Nat. I hope you feel better soon. Um, maybe this should have been the prediction. I'm hanging in there, Natalie. Thank you for asking. Oh, boy. This is, this, I really need, <laughs> I really need a topic of conversation or something. I need you guys to keep me company here because this is going to be one of those things. I love, I love 100%ing video games. Hey, how come I don't get a thing, dude? I hit A. I hit A, man! Oh, that's right, you started your new job. Even though you're feeling... Feeling bad having to power through. Well, I hope I hope uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's starting. What happened there? <laughs> I'm dead. This is going great. This is going great. I have no interesting conversation to offer. I'm just cross stitching and petting one of my cats. Oh, I meant to ask you, uh, October. I guess maybe you weren't around when we were having this conversation, but I saw your cross stitch in the Discord, and I wanted to say something, but I forgot about it. Because uh, I saw it when I was busy doing something. But you are fairly experienced with cross stitching, and it looks. I can't tell that. No, no, no. I mean, I don't even know if you were, like, involved in the stream at this point uh, when we had our cross stitch talk a little while ago. Um, but are you able to work on. It looks like you're able to work on dark pattern? Dark. Um, Eight o cloth, or perhaps you just did that by hand. Right, you use patterns, but um, I guess I guess no, 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 not not to free. Him. Um, more, more my question was about working against a dark background. I couldn't tell if you stitched that all yourself or if the cloth itself was dark. patterned fabric that you buy. So the the fabric itself that you were cross-stitching on, 
that's that like darkish black gray kind of color and you're stitching on top of that yeah the galaxy pattern was already there and, it, and you stitch into it and you're comfortable with that you're comfortable stitching into dark dark fabric no oh <laughs> no You prefer dark over white. Okay, I... You and I are gonna have to have a conversation, October. You're like the person I've been looking for, apparently. <laughs> uh, so, we had this conversation, I think back when I was playing Link's Awakening, it probably got brought up. Um, and I think this is before... Before we met, I, I think. I don't remember at what time you joined my stream. I know you're still fairly new. Um, but I think you were not around during this time because we were talking about cross-stitching and dark fabric and everything, and I would love to commission somebody to do, um, a windfish piece for me. So if you're, are you familiar with the windfish in Link's Awakening, October? I do not cross-stitch. Um, my, my father used to, but he hasn't in a very long time, and I don't know. He's, he's older now, and I don't know if he'd be comfortable cross-stitching on dark fabric. <laughs> made a mistake! DM me on Discord about it? Oh man, you're you're too nice. Um, so they there do exist patterns of, of the Windfish on like Etsy and stuff, and I'd be... I might have already bought one a long time ago. I might still have it somewhere. But, um... I wouldn't want it against a white background simply because the the actual the scene in in uh, Link's Awakening itself is put against this black background with stars and um, I think it would look really really cool to have a windfish on, on a dark background with like the stars and everything so uh, so we talked about it in chat for a while and health health sister does cross stitch uh, a couple other people had mentioned that they uh, like pop I think pops his wife uh, does it professionally but everybody hates working on dark cloth and I can see why like I can see why that would be a difficult thing to do use uh, lots of lights and rely heavily on I disagree! <laughs> Rely heavily on your glasses. Dark fabric emote win. But yeah, so there would pe there was people who would probably be willing to do it if I really, you know, asked them to do it, but I know the dark fabric thing is, a, is an issue. 228 blows, you have improved. I guess it was wrong of me to treat you like you were still a lowly page. You are page no more. You are now a knight. Night. It is not much, but now this is yours. Take it with you. Um, not what we were looking for, but we did get a purple ruby. Purple ruby. Prefer dark pa fabrics on the odd one out in the craft groups. That is awesome. You are 100% the person I've been looking for <laughs> for this. So I'm definitely gonna have to hit you up, um, and uh, we can we can figure something out. But that that's very exciting for me. It makes me super happy. Okay, now try to hit me 300 times before I hit you 300, three times. Must have amazing vision. I have a really hard time seeing the dark yarn when I'm doing yarn crafts. That's what most people say. It's like, it's super hard. I love making crafts for people. Yeah, that would, that would be absolutely incredible. You wish you were better across the... Why? Okay, like, sometimes it works fine, and other times I just get hit by him anyway. Do fake cross-stitch with timing paintings. Black floss on black fabric as well. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's pretty much impossible. <laughs> Alright, any believers? Who thinks I can get 300 or more this time? 
without getting scammed. That's, that's a scam. I don't like that because I still parry it. And Link's like on his way. <laughs> He's on his way to get the, the parry and I still get hit. Oh yeah, well, I would love to see more October. I'm a big fan of that. So that didn't work at all. I got scammed twice and then I think I missed the last one. thousand hit part so you can you can max it out at 900 but luckily for or st sorry not 900 999 but luckily for me i don't need to do that i have done that it's probably done i've probably done it in every file on my own just because like i consider that truly 100 <laughs> percent uh because i'm a maniac uh, but I've definitely done it multiple times. It most likely is on the other file. Come on, man! <laughs> I don't like the scams. That's what drives me nuts. It's almost like worth just waiting around for the parry. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've maxed it out in the majority of my playthroughs, if not all of them. That, I don't understand that. I'm still parrying, and the game just says no. I feel like I got really lucky with that last one. Again. Like, what what goes wrong there? I don't know. Just found the windfish pattern on Etsy you're looking for. I can definitely do it. Oh, let's go. It's amazing. That is, uh, that is... The best news I've heard in a while. <laughs> that makes me so happy. I would I would hang it up right over here. It might it will probably wouldn't be in the shot just because my sign takes up the entire shot, but it would be where I can see it. That's for sure. Oh, I don't understand those. It's like the ones the ones that really scam me. It's, I don't know what to do there. Hoppy's joy at this concept fuels me. <laughs> I'm very excited for it because it's been it's something that I've wanted for such a long time. This is wild. What is happening here? Enough of your stuff. You're making me angry. Maybe that's the way. Maybe I've just discovered the way. Backflip, Barry. What do you guys think? No, I couldn't. I couldn't even backflip out of the way of that one. Ah. Uh. Probably wondering why I'm putting myself through this torture. Because it's 100% is on the line. Yeah! <laughs> 
I feel like I just got lucky twice there. Because those are the ones I've really been getting scammed on. Ah, there's just... You just can't do anything about some of them. There's, there must be a method that I got used to at some point. I'm getting worse. count for two, which is nice, but not so nice when you get scammed because of it. Okay, maybe maybe we found something here. Oh, maybe. Maybe we found something. This 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 might be lucrative here. I think I might have found a method here. This is the run, guys. Who believes? We got the strategy now. Take notes. If you're if you're playing Wind Waker and you want 100% completed, just like your hero Meech, this is this is the strat. Hit him four times. Back up. Parry. That's that's the move right there. Look at this. Back up. Parry. One, two, three, four. Ah! Ooh! I got really lucky there. Two, three, four, back up, parry. Easy and free, every time. This is, jot this down, everybody. Saying, let's get that off and continue. This is going well. I mean, uh, I mean, nothing, nothing good has ever happened to me in my life, and I'm bad at video games. That's what I mean. Easy and free? Yes, I want to know more. <laughs> this is the strat. I've solved the Wind Waker. Willing the PB into existence, that's right. Yeah, 
about to tell me to not spoil it. To spoil the reward. Alright, what do you guys want to talk about? This has become my life now. We're stuck here. Oh, that things are going well. I tell you. Uh, I can't come up with a topic because I'm in the middle of a sword fight. I think it should be the people who are not currently sword fighting that come up with a topic of conversation. Look at that, 300, ladies and gentlemen. But honestly, that wouldn't be good enough for what we need. Oh no! <laughs> what a gamer. I mean, uh, I I'm bad at video games. Don't punish me. So like I said, you don't you don't need one or 199. You don't need 99. You do not need 999 <laughs> to get the reward. I guess I'll spoil it for you guys. You only you only need 500. But you do need 500. Bull, that's bull. Do not do it again. I disagree with you. Don't do it again! Oh my gosh! It, when did you get so feisty? Does he get... Does he get more complex as the... As it progresses? He's like super, super aggro. No, this is no good. Some space between us. I. S you have to be kidding. You have to be kidding. That is, uh, that's BS. That's BS. Uh, this reminds me of the part in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door where you have to jump on the bobbery time a hundred times. Nintendo has a bunch of trolls on the payroll. <laughs> Smack is so satisfying. How's the old man not dead yet? Ah, oh, that's such BS. That, like, feel like I really got scammed on that. Great, now I'm a swordsman. Wonderful. And I get an orange rupee, which is worth 100 in this game. I really thought that was the run. I really thought that was the run. Yeah, Drake and... <laughs> oh, man. All right, this this has to be the run. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but he did seem to get, like, way more aggro as it went on. Don't let us down. Good 
Joke's on you. That's what I specialize in. If I hit you 300 times with a plastic sword, you get aggravated too. I figured out like some sort of sort of room so that we can hopefully get back to where we were <laughs> with any luck and without scams. Should have been dead as heck. Don't die, I will try. I can't make any promises. Seems that sometimes the game has a mind of its own. It's, it's getting to 200 is like no problem now. It's trying to scam me here. I don't like it. He does. It's like yeah. Once you once you hit a certain point, he seems to become super aggressive with it. Sorry about that. It's at 289 right now. I'm I'm sorry. I had no idea it was <laughs> it was covered up. I mean, this is also a strat, right? If I'm worried about. I guess not. I guess that's not a strat. You get him. You get him a little too close to the wall. And just like lights out. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. What? Oh, this is... Get help. I need help. 
Somebody get me out of here. Get me out. It's like speedrunning when you make one mistake, all of a sudden, like the whole run is over. <laughs> We're at 341. Alright, this is this is not going so well. Tides turn pretty quickly. <laughs> if you make 11 mistakes and they're all with Bowser and the Mega Koopas. Well, then, then you have learned from the master. <laughs> You've watched too many of my PVs. <laughs> oh, I feel like I got lucky there. That's 400. <laughs> Go away. What was our what was our PV? Like 435 or something like that. We're at 428 right now. Whoa. Okay, we tried with PV. It was 435. We broke PV. Less than 50 to go. Get me out of here. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Oof. Oh, I do not. You cannot back him into the wall like at all. It's so dangerous. I would have cried. <laughs> I would have actually cried. <laughs> That's 500! Let's go! Who believed? You're all allowed back next week. Anybody who didn't believe, uh, you're banned. Now we'll just see how far we can take it. And I'm dead. That's fine. I could never do this, I believed. GG's, thanks for the GG. Oh, man. 529. Let's go. You've already become a fine swordman, uh, swordsman, but I'm certain you can do even better. Take this. I will not be coming back to do better. Unless... I don't know. Unless we reach 100 subs by the end of the day. There you go. That's my caveat. I will come back and do $9.99 if we reach 100 subs by the end of the day. Uh, how many of the Knight's Crests do I have? Oh, I need to take a picture of them as well. I've only got two. Now who's the troll? <laughs> Thank you.
have them. I can't grapple it or anything. Let's just look at it. Does that intrigue you, young one? Still too early to discuss such things with you, but if you happen to come, you. But if you happen across ten of those, show them to me, and I can tell you what they are and what they do. But I will only speak if you get ten of them. Yeah, we just need seven people to drop four, and then I'll come back, <laughs> and then uh, I'll 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 torture myself with getting nine ninety nine. So what do you? It's up to you guys. Or four people to drop seven. I'd be willing to bitch. And everything we have good. I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring here. As well as integrating the main story, of course. <laughs> you did not have to do that. Thank you so, so much for the seven gifted. Uh, that'll get you a Pokemon pack. For sure. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Michiri. Nico, Satoko, Liz, Scoople, Nullhammer, Sven, and Tiagog. Hopefully that's pronounced correctly. I like when they just all hit each other by accident. Uh, thank you so much. That, that really means a lot. Thank you. Alright, that's enough of you guys. Uh, that is all going to- Oh! That- Holy, I need to update our- That we hit our goal of, uh, Phantom Hour Jet. Uh, <laughs> I'm flustered! We hit our goal of Phantom Hourglass uh, ship parts collections. We need to uh, we need to update that. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Uh, let's take a very very quick break and take care of that. All right, we're all updated. Thank you to Mushroom Mystery for helping us hit our goal. And now the next goal in line is the. Thunder Dragon's lightning round in Skyward Sword. So that's what we will be working towards, which is a lot of fun. It's apparently written in the rules that toddlers have to live by. I should mention that probably li literally anything I get from streaming uh, will be going towards um, my Switch, which I've been having some some issues with, and um, so I I will likely be using pretty much any of the money I get from Twitch uh, to go to go towards that. So I truly appreciate it, guys. Thank you.
What did Best Buy say about my Switch? So I actually ended up canceling the appointment. Um, I'm very confused on what's going on. And I know I explained this in my Discord. Uh, but for anybody who doesn't know what's going on, I was having a bunch of like weird connection issues with my Switch and it became quite literally unplayable where uh, my, I couldn't connect my controllers or control anything and they would just disconnect constantly. And uh, I had had so many so many issues, and I thought it was just my my pro controller dying, and so I I have the new <clears throat> excuse me I have the new like Zelda edition Switch that just came out recently. I'm like, okay, so clearly there's not anything wrong with the Switch. It's got to be my controller. And then I was testing out other controllers, and they seemed to work pretty much just as poorly as the Pro Controller, but I, I hadn't played with them as much. Hang on one sec, I gotta read what Mr. Fishman has to say here. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set of Triumph Forks? Well, it's right here. It's right there, my young fry, on that island, you know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting it's the hard part. And that's all the info I've got to offer. All right, well, that wasn't a lot. Uh, so I was trying, like, some of my Joy-Cons, which are also bad because Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons are just bad, and I've spent... I mean, this is years ago, but... Um, when I was when I was working full time and I had money to blow, I bought I have like four different pairs of Joy Cons. They're all garbage. Uh, I have a Pro controller that's I thought was good, and <clears throat> so I I started testing my Switch with all these like different controllers, and everything seemed to be an issue. Seemed to have like some sort of issue with the Switch. I'm like, okay, so it feels like there's a problem with my Switch. And then I tested a friend's Switch in my dock. Same dock, same TV, same controllers, and things were working mostly, um, like, way better than they were working fine. There was a couple little small issues, but it didn't seem like anything significant. So I was like, okay, great, there's something wrong with my Switch, and it's brand new, so, like, literally less than a month old. So I was annoyed about that, and... Uh, I had an appointment set up with Best Buy, and uh, I was going to get things checked out. Anyway, um, long story short, I ended up canceling the appointment with Best Buy because I had I had gotten a new Pro controller just to just to see, like what like because my Switch also froze that that day. Uh, my Switch actually froze, which is something I I haven't seen before. Um, I'm like, okay, this is not good. I've clearly got, like, a defective switch or something. But I, I went and got a Pro Controller the same day uh, that I was having all the in issues just to see, uh, just to, like, do more testing on my own switch with something literally brand new, something that I haven't had for a while um, that hasn't been used. And uh, it's working completely fine. Like completely fine and so I'm very very confused about what's going on I don't know if using my other pro controller was corrupting the switch in some way um, <clears throat> the the reason I initially even thought it was the pro controller in the first place was because I had so much trouble with the amiibo functionality and it's supposed to be as easy as just tapping the amiibo to the controller and it should read it automatically. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, uh, so so I had suspected that something was wrong with my controller. And I was like, okay, well, I, you know, I'm just going to have to invest in a new Pro Controller and that's life just because uh, the Switch Nintendo stinks and they charge you a billion dollars for equipment that doesn't work 
And I just kind of, like, accepted that, even though it really sucks. But then, like, nothing was, nothing was working properly. And so I was getting really worried and thought it was my Switch. But I just wanted to test, so, like I said, I went and got a brand new Pro Controller, which costs, what do they call, 70 or $80, dollars or not cheap, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, but I've been playing on that for two days, and it's been 100% fine. Not a single issue with the Switch, nor the controllers, nor any connection. It's been fine. So I'm very confused about the problem. I don't know much about tech <laughs> and software and those kinds of things. Uh, but it, it genuinely feels like using my, my older Pro Controller was like corrupting the Switch in some way. Yeah, yeah, every, everything was updated. Dock was updated, Switch was updated, controllers were all updated, all of them. Everything I tested, and I made sure on the other Switch that I tested where things worked a little better. Like I said, there was very minimal issues with the other Switch that I tried. And um, so that's what kept making me think, it's my Switch, it's gotta be mine. Like everything, I'm ruling out the fact that it could be the dock or the fact that it could be uh, these controllers because when playing them on a different Switch, everything seemed to work almost flawlessly. There was like very minimal issues, but there were still some. And uh, so I didn't know whether to chalk that up to, you know, the Switch being the Switch or whether there was an actual issue. But it genuinely feels like the controller was like somehow, I don't know, again, I don't know technology very well, but uh, it feels like it was somehow corrupting my Switch in some way. Now everything's going completely fine. Uh, I do have like the whole replacement um, plan from Best Buy for the Switch, so in case anything does go wrong, I have like two years to be able to play, replace it. But for now, I'm just testing out the Pro Controller and seeing if that's genuinely the... Holy moly. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for 20 gifted subs. Oh no, <laughs> puts us at 99. Anonymous, thank you for 20 gifted subs. That's definitely gonna get a Pokemon pack. Uh, welcome to the Michiri, everybody. That We are one sub away <laughs> from me having to go back <laughs> and do 999. Uh, thank you so, so much. Those are all going towards our Thunder Dragon. Uh, thank you so much, Anonymous, truly. Thanks so much. Really means a lot. Um, which way am I going? I'm, now I'm definitely flustered. Uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm not sure what's going on with my Switch. I'm genu genuinely not sure. Um, Mushroom, thank you for the gift sub to Ethan. I guess that seals that. Thank you so much. We'll do it. We'll do it at the at towards the end. If that's okay. Towards the end. Uh, we did hit 100. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that, guys. You didn't have to do that, uh, but it means it means a ton to me. Thank you so much. Um, I'm a man of my word. I will go back. We will do 9.99. I will suffer through that and make you suffer with me. So I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Nice work, Mushroom, and probably also Mushroom. I have to show you. <laughs> that wasn't part of the deal. If I re if we reach <laughs> 150 subs by the end of the day, I'll show you my pants. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Gift bomb wasn't you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, I've, I'm going through this text. I'm not even reading it. I'm so flustered. Uh, he's even said to have the legendary picture, pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe or so they say. I don't know who he's talking about. What exactly is a pictograph anyway? All the info I've got to offer. Um... Too bad I can't go back and look at my stream later. Um... Hello, two billion sea hats. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, the other... the I did mention earlier today, I think if we somehow get back up into the 200 mark for concurrent subs, I will match any gift subs. Um... Just to kind of help us, like... Because we got so, so close to the CDI goal. And 
it was it's a real bummer for me to see like it go from like getting like this close to dipping down so far i think i think i'll match any gift subs if we get back up to um get back up to 200 i'm basically just saying that out loud so you guys can hold me to that The stream was generated by AI. Alan Ives? Boy, small fry! Sorry, I didn't read what you said last time, buddy. Uh, but thank you guys so much. So tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph forks? This is the third time you've asked me. It's right there, I tell you, the article gen the article genuine. What a weird way to say that. In that house. If you want it, you better go there and scour the place from from floor to ceiling. That's all the info I've got to offer. Thank you. The article genuine. <laughs> If life was generated by Alan Iverson. AI just... It's just Alan Iverson, I'm sorry. There is no such thing as artificial intelligence. AI just feels like a buzzword that people say. Not... I, I don't mean... I don't mean in that specific instance. Health thing. I just mean in general when people are like, this is, you know, AI generated or AI wrote the script or AI did this. It's like, I think, I think you're just confusing AI with general computers. <laughs> we wouldn't care about practice. <laughs> We're talking about practice. So if you keep wondering about, we keep seeing this telescope guy, uh, he does serve some significance. Oh, ho, ho, one, one flying seagull. No, two, two flying seagulls. All right, what are you, the count? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wait, I see more seagulls. Three, four, five, now six, no, no, seven seagulls, eight. This is madness, eight seagulls. Proud of you, buddy. So proud of you. Good evening. We have two letters for Bob. That's our first letter. How you doing, Bob? Do you have enough of Granny Soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You always work so hard, Bob? Oh, you always work so hard, Bob. That's a statement, not a question. It scared me. Slash wow. <laughs> oh no, slash wow. <laughs> um, thank you for the 100 wow bits, Mushroom. I appreciate it. Eight seagulls visiting the Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, visit the Jersey Shore, yeah. <laughs> you can catch them on your hands, man. They're everywhere. Don't get boardwalk fries. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 going towards the Master Quest playthrough. You guys, have you guys played the Master Quest? Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm sending you everything I've saved up. As long as I have you in RL. Uh, I don't need anything else. I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, Grandma. Your whole life savings is 20 rupees, Grandma? How irresponsible are you? Blood rupees. <laughs> it says mastered it, so it means it's too hard for me. You've never you've never tried the master quest, though? I'm kind of surprised to hear that. Uh I think you should do that on stream. I think, I think you should uh, give it a shot. This parcel has been sent COD. Postage due is 10 rupees. Ah, uh, yeah, well, thanks to Grandma, I've got 20 rupees to spare. Notice the silver membership holders. You're making me pay for this? Be Thank you for your frequent pa patronage of Beetle Ship Shops. I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna call them Ship Shops. I mean, Shop Ships, or Ship Shops. All right, uh, mods, delete the VOD. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted a silver membership. All silver membership holders receive a special gift of one complimentary ID. It's valid at all Beatles shop ships, ship shops. So bring it to a ship shop near you. <laughs> Who cares? 
Just who cares what they're called? Uh, I look forward to your future patronage. Moderai. That's ironic now. <laughs> that, <laughs> the use of that emote is just ironic now. Uh, you got the complimentary ID. Who knows what this is? Apparently you should take it to Beetle. You keep calling them. gets canceled. The tongue qu twister. Uh, okay. What do we got here? I always forget how this works. Okay, that was easier than it looked. Uh, I remember having issues with that before, honestly. I remember screwing that up. A lot of the things that I have mentioned that I screwed up in previous playthroughs, I haven't been screwing up, so that's fun. That's nice, at least. Got a treasure chart. <laughs> Thank you for the hello. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is... This is a place we come back to. A little later. those seagulls you were looking at, buddy? You guys see any seagulls? The heck was he looking? seagulls. I don't see them. You guys see any seagulls anywhere? Point me in the right direction. I can't be trusted to do this. Oh, there's, oh, there's a couple. Oh, I'm getting closer. Where is it? Where are you guys going? Lead me. Tell me the way. Now I'm getting further away, aren't I? Why are you following me? What is going on? Take a picture of one and use the sensor. So, I have not gotten that ability yet, health, in tears. Uh, I'm just brute forcing everything right now. Where, where did the seagull? Bruh. Oh, oh, there they are, okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. There we go.
I disagree. I felt like it hit. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, who is this guy? I'm shooting Kobe numbers right now. Oh, I got blocked. Easy. Look at that. Why am I not surprised? Smeeze for sploosh and kaboom. Kaboom. Sploosh. Sploosh. First try, every try. your cannon away, sir. Boosh. Pew, pew. Oh, that's not the map. We got another orange rupee worth a hundred. away I did release a short short form video either YouTube shorts or Instagram reels or TikTok whatever the hell they're called uh, re regarding the uh, the sploosh kaboom uh, game from the first week of Wind Waker Exclamation socials if you want to follow me on my social platforms. And you can see those videos as well. Oh, I can't see anything. Where's the island on this one? Oh, you know what? Scratch that. Yeah, that's why there's no island. Okay. I uh, need to go more this way. Where's fish friend? Oh, there he is. You have anything interesting for me? Boy, small fry. Boy, fish man. got a shop over there on Windfall Island, a nice outdoor shop. You know that small fry? In that shop, they've got this really fine safe that looks like it looks to be brimming full with riches. And they just leave it sitting outside day and night. I'll tell you, one of these days that thing is going to get hauled off by a thief. Mark my words, Fry. Of course, if I were to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop the perpetrator right there and catch that rat redhead. Sure, if I did, the owner of that shop would thank me. Yeah, he'd be happy. That would be the honest thing to do. Thanks, man. I'll keep that in mind. What a noble fish. You know?
Come on, Link. Uh, to, also, to be quite honest with you, Health, I don't know how to get that uh, feature <laughs> on the Pura uh, pad or whatever. I haven't figured it out yet. But I haven't gotten it. Ooh, a skull necklace. It's rather off-putting accessory. It appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person is apparently worth great. It is apparently of great worth great. If you ever do main quest again, you'll figure it out. There's no such thing as main quests. Uh, so I didn't mean to talk to him, but he's just telling me that what my quest objective is, which is to put the pearls in the... in the right places, which are marked on my map, of course. But I'm ignoring that for right now, because, uh... I'm doing other things. I like how me smashing the pots wakes him up, but literally stealing something off of his body with a grappling hook does not wake him up. That's the most oblivious Bokoblin I've ever seen. Bokoblin? Bokoblin? Oh, did I? Is this one that I did already? Does it, t does it say which ones I've completed on the chart? Shoot, I don't, I don't know whether it does or not. Uh, I checked a few non-spoiler things online, but I'm nearly ready for full on guide to get what I missed. Really? Oh, I did do this one. That chest is open. Oh, okay. I wish it marked off which uh, which submarines you've completed. Um, man, really health? I feel like it, I don't know, man. There's just, there's so much to explore. I would just have a have a fun time doing that. But that's that's just me. Everybody's you know allowed to have their own experience. I will try to do as much as I possibly can without advancing the story and without looking things up. I am doing really, really good on shrines right now. I'm not sure how many are in the game, but I have crossed the triple digit marks. Oh no, I do know how many are in the game. That was that was told to me. Uh, so that means I am more than two thirds of the way, I think. Yeah, more than two thirds. disappointed in the shrines for one specific reason this time around are you I, are you able to share without it being any sort of spoiler if not obviously you know don't worry about it but um i'm curious like what would i know what that reason is or is it something general or is it something more specific
Let's say there's a specific name that keeps popping up when you enter them. Seagulls. Ooh, I don't have a lot of bombs. I gotta make these count. And first one's a miss. Excellent job. Very proud of you. Second one's a miss. I mean, third one's a miss. Oh, you can just Z-target eyes? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be a sharpshooter now. Okay, well, never mind. The game just said no way. What are you aiming at? Do I even have enough anymore? How many bombs do I have? Five? Alright, maybe don't rely on Z-targeting. enough oh, I do I gotta make it count I've only got two shots in one eye and I'm getting sucked in no <laughs> that's it that's game Ooh, <laughs> clutch this music makes you anxious I think it's supposed to I think it's supposed to make you anxious uh, they did fix the tests of strength at least a lot of variation this time around I agree. I have found that I have found shrine hunting to be a lot more. Okay, maybe not a lot more. Let's say a lot less tedious than it was in Breath of the Wild, uh, specifically because of things like that, where it just feels like you're actually, I don't know, you're getting more puzzles out of it. Uh, a lot of the ones, a lot of the shrines that are difficult to find we'll say are freebies and the ones that are like these sort of tests of strength strength are also complete variety and i think that's super cool so i think i think they did a really good job with that i, I will agree with that 100 percent from what i've seen hello how are you doing Actually, I can, uh, thanks for the GG. Oh, that name isn't Dingle. Uh, where's the Beatles chart? Uh, oh, okay, he's on this, he's on this. Ooh, he's also to my, to my west. Has anybody ever used, has anybody ever said that in the history of life? Oh, oh yeah, he's over to my west. Uh, please do not destroy my ship. I thank you. Uh, what up, Beetle? How are we doing anyway? Green line shrines. I know what you're talking about when you say that. I know what you're referring to. But there's a name that pops up. Um, I don't know what he said there. I, I just thought it was his normal spiel, but he said something else. You have a bashful look on your face, Mr. Customer. You can't hide it from me. Yuck, 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 yuck. Uh, I'm not sure what he said there, honestly. Apologies for skipping through that. That's, you can only hold 30 bombs, right?
How much more can I hold? I can really... What do I have in my bag right now? Surely I'm full. Okay. Um... I might have said that in a dream. Uh, said what in a dream? Sorry, I don't remember what, what was said. <laughs> Uh, where's Fishman? Where are you, buddy? Wanna eat? Oh, he's to my west. <laughs> he's over there to my west. Hello? Fishman? Hello? There you are. Come on, fishy. Boy, small fry. Uh, green line ones were disappointing because of what happens in those shrines. Expected a little more. Um, so I'm still not sure about the whole name thing. I'm not sure what you mean there. I'm not sure if these are j just separate conversations. Um, I didn't mind. I don't mind that health because the the puzzle happens outside of the shrine. Uh, beware of the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you. That's it. That was a short one. Yeah, yeah. To, to the west makes complete sense. To my west doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's why I said it's never been said in like the history of mankind. I'm the first one to ever say that. I'm gonna start saying that unironically. Un oh yeah, it's over to my to my east, to my north. As if we don't have the same <laughs> compass directions. The name of the quest to get the shrine. There's there's. A Let me just see if I'm understanding you correctly. I know I know. Like so, the quest names. There's a repeating. There's a, re a repeating theme in these? Is that is that what you mean? Forgive me if I'm like way off base here and I'm just misunderstanding. All right, you asked for it, it's here. Some more sploosh kaboom. Ah, oh, never mind, my mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per day, wanna draw? You bet. All right, now then, uh, ahem. Oh, 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 so you're the little shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting hotshot, yeah? You say this knowing full well that we are pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when we step into the room? Ah, this should be funny then, or fine then, hotshot. You can manage to sink the five pirate ships you see off the horizon. We'll acknowledge your skills with a cannon, you, you shrimpy little land lover. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels <laughs> and you only get 10 shots. You heard me. You can move your cannon with the uh, stick and fire with A. Uh, watch the water plumes carefully when you fire. You got it, shrimp! If you manage to sink all five pirate ships, we'll give you a treasure. We'll give you all the treasure we've stolen up until now. Good luck to you, shrimp. You'll need it, yeah? <laughs> so good. Oh man, what a great, what a great character. Uh, all right, let's start out with a strong, well, let's call it 35. Ooh, is that too much? That's way too much, eh? Holy, okay. 35 might hit this guy out here. There is a repeating theme, okay. Okay, 35 is not enough for that one, so keep that in mind. Jot that down, everybody. Par. All right. We'll come back to this one. Call that forty. Yo, Ness. Thank you so much for the raid. Ooh. 
call this one 30. Uh, thank you so much, Ness. I hope you... Slime Raid! I hope you had a great stream. Hey, yeah, welcome in. Lost in the links. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you guys aren't following Ness, please do so. What's up, JKVT? Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you guys. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. If you guys aren't following Ness, please, please go give him a follow. Uh, how is the big reveal, Ness? I'm excited to see what it was. Okay, so... Probably talking 20 here. And 15 here. What a gamer. What a gamer. Uh, so that's kind of the secret of this game, is to just do it in increments of 5 degrees. Psh, nice shooting. We won't have an over our priceless treasure so easily, yeah? Miss, hey miss! <laughs> I love this guy so much. Oh, Salvatore is like one of the best Zelda characters. Gonzo! You're at least an honorary member of my family, are you not? So act like it, don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid, I like you. As we promised, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it. <laughs> you got a piece of heart. Fantastic. Alright, nice job and all that. You can leave via the ladder behind you. Climb down in an orderly manner if you can. Uh, we're actually going to play it a second time. Want to know what it was? I would love to know what it was. For sure. Please, tell me. 50 rupees per game. Okay, he's going to he's gonna give me the same spiel that he did last time. Apparently much shorter. Okay, we are a lot further out this time around. Oh. Arr. That one was further, right? Now it looks closer, but I thought it was further. I'm going to hit it with a 30 and see what happens. Oh. Oh, they were the same distance. Okay. Uh, I am now a slime, slime VTuber, and the slime emotes are back, and they brought friends. Oh, that's awesome, Ness. That is very cool. I'm definitely going to have to go check it out. Uh, great job, man. All right, what do we think? Well, 35 hit. I feel like that might fall short. Yeah, what a game. I know everything. These two look like they're the same distance. Ooh, I've only got two more shots. Oh, I gotta make them count. They look like they're the same distance. Should I go for 50 on this? Or do you think it's a 45? Ugh. Try. I'll go with my gut. What a gamer! Wait a second. Miss, miss. <laughs> what do you want? Do you know how to keep quiet, you scurvy dog? Oh, I was just wondering who was out here, and look at this. It's you again. Look at you and your adorably cute face of yours. I can't help but give away your art treasure to you. It's yours, so take it. <laughs> got a treasure chart. So we get a we get a harpies and a treasure chart, which is pretty good. Nice job and all that. God, Sal Salvatore, easily one of the best Zelda characters. You can't you can't change my mind. Yo, what's up, Jade? Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Okay, we are caught up. Excellent. All right, where's my ship? Hop. Hop. 
You are working though. Hope you're well. I'm hanging in there, Jade. Thank you for asking. Salvatore worked in retail, and every day it was Black Friday. <laughs> to Damon Salvatore. Who's Damon Salvatore? Is that a name I should know? Submarine? Vampire Diaries. Is that a show or a game? <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know pop culture, man. <laughs> It's a show on CW. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it was on Netflix too. I'm interested to see how Tetra fits in Hyrule Warriors. I only watched it because Damon is sexy. <laughs> Yeah, it's on CW is all you need to know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> that got me. Oh boy. Oh, we got a lot of moblins in here. Up, gentlemen. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the slimy moats are working. Yay! Oh, wow. I didn't even get a parry for that. Today was the first time I spoke for like two hours straight. Not gaming. Now everyone knows my emote history. Oh, nice. That's really cool, Ness. Twitch updated the affiliate terms of service, and it looks like they removed the 24-hour exclusivity window. Or... Uh, when you stream on Twitch, you can't post that content anywhere for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, well, they don't care about me, so I don't think I was ever in danger of uploading my stuff to YouTube. <laughs> Same day. <laughs> They can terminate your affiliate status. 
it's so lame. But they got rid of that, you're saying? treasure chart. I didn't know that was a rule either. Fog. Wow. It's already later than I thought it was. I have done a lot of side adventures today. Where is the island? Where is the fish? Hello? more to the partners than affiliates, which is pro possibly why it was removed. Boy, small fry. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, the little shop master on Windfall Island apparently got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor or something like that. It's a pretty cool magical relic from what I've heard. If you want him to give it to you, try staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery, Fry. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It's all the info I've got to offer. You're so funny. of the winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. Aid away, fairy. <laughs> hey, there's a pretty fairy again. 5,000 rupees. Huge wallet. Huge wallet. Wow. <laughs> I don't have any empty bottles. <laughs> November, thank you for the hundred. Wow, big wallet for big man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gonna make food? Good luck with the computer game. Thank you, Ness. Thank you for the raid. Everybody, please make sure you're following Ness. Much appreciated. Enjoy your food. Hope it's yummy. Wow. <laughs> uh, November, thank you for the 100 going towards our Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Hopefully. Uh, Mushroom, thank you so much for the hundred. Wow. Pretty Fairy gave you more rupees. Wow. <laughs> rupees. Uh, thank you so much, Mushroom, for the hundred bits. Also going towards Master Quest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Boy, small fry. You guys should be saying that every time I interact with this guy. You should be used to it by now. 
Pew pew. Are you thinking uh, you want to get into that cave, small frog? The one that's protected by the crazy winds on that island? <laughs> okay, then let me just tell you a little secret. If you go five squares south and one square east from here, you reach Ice Ring Isle, where you find an item that will make you as heavy as stone. Ooh. If you get that item, you won't have to worry about getting blown over by winds. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Right. I'm going to call you Small Fry. I can do that. That's not... That's not what I asked for. Oh. <laughs> Uh, am I sure thank you for the hundred? Kanye, go ahead. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Oh. Where's... wasn't... I swear I saw the fish over here. Am I, am I going, am I going mad? Oh, there he is. Classic Kanye. <laughs> oh! Mushroom, thank you for the additional hundred. Oh, Kyle, let's drop this again, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> a little better. What are the odds Kanye has ever said wow in his lifetime? Ah, uh, that's a good question. You'd best be careful sailing these waters on nights when the moon is full. Well, if you like pure soul-freezing horror, then maybe you could handle it. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, going towards Master Quest playthrough. There's a shiny treasure of it. Wow. Got my eyes on the exact spot. Head. Getting close. Uh, Another piece of heart. Look at our heart containers. Like, look, look how much we've gotten. It pays. It pays off to go around and explore and treasure hunt and all that fun stuff. Why does it sound so sarcastic? Oh, ho, ho, I see. I do indeed. Good to know. Nice talk. The old rare blue chew. Two of them? Holy! What are you doing? Turn around. Pays to discover hashtag ad. Uh, thank you for the water break, Mushroom. Much appreciated. Ooh, a treasure chart. What do we got here? Which treasure chart is it? Each over here advocating for side questing, like he's my dad telling me about the advantages of saving money. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it anyway. I'm gonna have to do all this stuff to 100% the game, so uh, felt like I might as well just go for it. There is a submarine out there. Let's go check that out.
The lag. <laughs> Still, just like never ending, it just keeps falling. Hello there. Another treasure chart. Small fry. If you see seagulls flying around some sea waters, it's a sign you need to be wary, fry. Because the seagulls flock to wherever big octos appear. Big octos, I tell you, those things don't mess around. Thanks, man. I might have some experience with those. Speaking of seagulls. Did I just see some? Oh, no, that's not a Speaking of seagulls, hello. Wait, am I near? Where are you? November, thank you for the hundred. I know where I am. Hi, small fry. Wow. I see you have the same Ole boat. I think it's interesting that you still see value in it despite it being very out of style. I'm sure there's someone out there who thinks that way. Anyway, <laughs> open your seat chart. <laughs> Thank you, November, for the audio. Much appreciated. Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I was close to a big octo there. I think that's the reason that particular fish brings it up. Uh, I hear seagulls. I just don't see... Oh, hi. Take me to your Octo, uh, your Octo leader. This way? I'm, cl I'm close, I... You guys see seagulls? This 
AI voice always makes me think of Hitchhiker's Guide. Man, I don't know anything about Hitchhiker's Guide. Do you guys see seagulls anywhere? This is, I'm having trouble again. Uh... I thought I got close. Because it did start to storm. Oh, oh, wait. What are you You're following me. Why are you following go to where the go to where I need to be. Show me the way. Oh Ah, here we go. I got blocked. No fair. Play fair. I, how many? Holy! I gotta wait till I get on the other side. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. But look at the full moon. Blocked. Blocked. Why am I getting? Come on. One more. Oh no! I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I've only got three bombs. Look how many bombs this one took, man. Holy. Um. I loan you my copy. Such a good read. Wouldn't recommend the movie, although I have a soft spot for it. Well, that was, uh, that was almost a disaster. And I lost all my bombs. Fantastic. Love to see it. Another piece of art. I saw the movie first, so it holds a special place in my heart. Of course, the books are better. Really think the movie is a great amalgamation of the ideas of all the books. How many are there? The cast of the movie is excellent, but visually it's at odds with what is my brain from the books. The effects are really campy. Yo, what up, Beetle? I may or may not need some bombs for me. And some meat. Thirty-seven points, sixty for gold. <laughs> Oh, 
always have to enter like this? I don't I genuinely don't recall. Oh, could I have grappled? I probably could have grappled. That's probably why he's looking up there. Adventure guys sailing from island to island. Action, excitement, right? With all the adventuring you do, do you happen to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she wants one of those things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. That's a shame. Should have thought of that before uh, you promised her. It's probably not going to be good enough. Oh, I can only hold 12. I was incorrect. It is not 15. 12 is a strange number. Uh, golden feather. Here you go. Hey, that's what my girlfriend wants. A golden feather. So how many of these do you have? Are you really going to let me have 20? You said a golden feather, but sure, you can have it. I'm going to stick these little beauties in a letter and send them off right away. I'm going to tell her about you too. I'm so happy. Seriously. It's not much, but please accept this. Orange Ruby. I suppose I should just go back to uh, to outset and try to finish our uh, our quest. Good luck with the rest of Zelda. Thank you, health. Good luck. I'm gonna sit in the in construction traffic a bit on the way home. Be safe. Any progress with? The game? In general? Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like what I, I mean, I've already gone later than I expected to. Um, so I think I might head back to outside and try to get our 999 that I promised you guys. Boy, small fry.
Where does they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island? Every night, people gather in the hall of wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Ah, the rich. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll tell you, I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning the auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things on that auction block, too, like an extra fast sale, among other things. Maybe that's just a rumor. You should try it out. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Good idea, buddy. Appreciate the input. square am I? I keep I keep looking for the island in the square but it is uh, no spoilers but I can't find it right now right into him. Um, the day and night cycle here is almost the same as Minecraft. How do you mean? What do you mean? Anybody dizzy? How fast the day goes by? It does, it does feel like it goes by pretty fast. Um... Luckily, later on, we will be able to help that a little bit. Now, there is something we're calling about just sailing the sea at night. No! Oh no! Are you kidding? I wasn't even, like, close, man. I can't do anything about it. I can't. I can't turn. I can't. I mean, like, it just sucks you right in. Uh, where is this gonna throw me? Okay, that's not, like, the worst thing in the world, but it did put me a little further out of our destination. So we'll just chill and sail a little bit. Time between sunrise and sunset. Yo, what's up, Jed? Hi. Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Welcome to the Michiri. Just doing a bit of sailing here until we get to, uh, until we get back to outset. And then I have to make good on a promise I made. Also, showing my pants is still on the table for 150. One hundred percent, where we just max out everything. 
whether it kills me or not. Good morning! We have a letter for Bob. Here's your letter. Uh, this is, I think, a good one. Uh, Dear Bob, I recently received some, some golden feathers from my boyfriend who mentioned you, something of a bird enthusiast, so I know how how hard it must have been to get all these feathers. I want you to be as happy as we are, Bob, so I'm sending you this heart as a token of our affection. Another piece of heart. Who is this guy? All right, here we go. You guys ready? Ah, uh, we have not met for some time. Do you wish to fight me again? What do you say, Bob? I mean, it hasn't been that long. A couple days in game. A couple hours in real time. Are you happy just being a swordsman? Surely you can do better than that. Keep coming at me until I hit you three times. Well, that's a really good start. I'm, I'm just going to take a couple hits here and start again. Because kind of got scammed super early there. Come on, hit me. Come on, dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fight me for real. Don't scam me. Any believers in chat? What do you think? How many tries? Get it done in this stream. leave you guys in the dark about how many I have since it's covered up. I'm messy, but not really. He'll say it at the end. <laughs> he backed me into that one corner and then I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. 
But you really gotta be as central as possible. Is this exhilarating for you guys? Trying to scam me, I don't like it. <laughs> One sec, guys. Uh, I have to do it again. I don't have to. Uh, I said if I <laughs> if I made it to a hundred subs today, I would go back and get 9.99 for you guys. And chat did its thing, and I gotta make good on my promise. So here I am. <laughs> Am I bored? Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad because I don't feel like this is interesting for chat. <laughs> I, it's not so much me, but I feel bad because I feel like chat would get bored of this very quickly. And <laughs> it's very repetitive and I don't really have anything to talk about. <laughs> I'm bad at coming up with subjects to talk about on my own. Uh, Natalie, thank you so much for the gift sub to Rocket. No! He keeps backing me into these corners and I can't get out. Uh, Natalie, thank you so much. Truly really appreciate it. Welcome to the Michiri Rocket. I'm I'm in uh, I'm in danger here because. Well, I guess I'm not spoiling, unless you guys want spoilers, I can tell you where I am in the count. I know it's a little bit covered for you, but I am two hits down. That's not good. If I didn't already have a headache, this would be giving me one, absolutely. It's the scams that annoy me the most. Like when I know I've done something right and the game's just like, no, you haven't. Uh, the, the migraine has gotten better since 
chest earlier, but still sucks. Okay, that's dangerous. No! Oh! <laughs> Get away from me! Yo, what's up, Assemble? Thank you so much for the good luck. I hope you're doing well today, man. Good to see you. Alright, I gotta pause and wipe my controller. <laughs> I'm sweating. Oh man, he loves being toxic over here. I don't like this. I don't want to go near that table anymore. What does chat think I'm at right now? Over 9,000? That is not correct. Here the windows to 999. This is super toxic. I hate it. Go away. Yo, what's up, Rocket? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I think I'm at 431. Oh, I hit the wrong button and got so lucky there. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Big Nasty? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Give me a moment to read that. Old man is stronger than any Zelda boss ever. Just eating hundreds of direct blows. No! Go away! I'm done. Oh, come on. <laughs> I hate when that happens. 641. <sighs> <laughs> Two thirds. Two thirds of the way there. Never played nor seen this game in its entirety. Get the GameCube and basically only watch on not close friends place once. Uh, I don't need 999. 
but I made a promise to chat. Uh, it was an incentive. <laughs> so, I, uh, I have to make good on my promise, but it's not required for the game. But it's required for me. Chad is a jerk. It's my it's my fault. trying to eke a little closer back to where we were in terms of getting to those CDI games. No! Oh, I don't... It's like you can't do anything if he decides to, to do that. I'm not exactly sure what causes that. I haven't figured that out yet. But if he like if he blocks that fourth hit, then you're done. Oh! I got lucky. doing anything to you when you're near that table. <laughs> That's always bad news for me. Yeah. 
Where's Retro? I made him do the super jumps. I feel like this is... <laughs> this is payback. <laughs> See any uh, good movies lately, or? My hand is cramping. Hey, what's up, Sean? See you. Hope you're doing well today, man. Watching anime mostly. like when he decides to block all of a sudden you have to react so quickly I really don't I don't know what causes that so dangerous Tuesday to you too. Try force Tuesday. Yeah, 
hand is cramping up. It's fantastic. Hope everything's going well with you. What's up, Mega? Good to see you, man. We've been doing well. It's been quite a day. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully nothing too, too bad. So sleepy, but I have to shower. Go buy pants for the new job. Yeah, best of luck. Uh, since I won't see you tomorrow, October, best of luck to you on the first day. I hope it goes well. Very lengthy weekend work and music composition stuff I need to finish. Well, at least it's a good busy. It's good to hear. Gonna be cool. Have to get a NASA security badge. Oh man, that's super cool. Saturday, you're out of town for 13 hours. That is, uh, that is quite a long time. For a day. It's not like he said spaghetti. Spaghetti. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. That's honestly pretty likely at this point. Just a sec there, Mega. Get away from the edges, man. Been better. Thought I was done. Sleepiness and drowsiness. Not completely. Yesterday was bad. My heart. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I need to stretch my fingers anyway. Uh, yesterday was bad. Today is meh. I need to fight through it. I have a lot of work that's been piling up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mega. I really hope it gets better for you soon. Oh, man. much my hand was actually cramped there. Now it hurts. Since I stretched it. <gasps> Get out! or what it's the victory trigger well technically I already got the victory but I'm doing something uh, because I made a promise to chat so I'm trying to max out the amount of hits you can get in on him for true niche percent hundred percent of Zelda you know we go above and beyond here for for the chat 
Cat scratches my back, I scratch chat. I give you guys incentives. You meet those incentives. I do crazy stuff. Crazy, unnecessary stuff. Where do you guys think I am right now? Anybody have any guesses? I know you can partially see the counter, but... Worth it for the lulls? I mean, it's... it's Worth it to know that you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! You son of a gun, old man. Old, old, grouchy man. Don't you dare. 500 plus. That is... It's very vague. It's a very vague guess. Are you mad because I called you old? I get some oldges in the chat, 615. Ladies and gentlemen, the master is in. Enough! Impressive, Bob. I lost count of how many times you struck me. It was actually a thousand, because I got to 999 and hit one more, and then he said enough. Ah, you have learned all I have to teach, Master Bob. Master, it is not much to speak of, but please take this. Get 200 rupees. <laughs> ah, pleasant, my arms feel numb. Uh, Master, it is your left index finger. Is your left index finger not numb as well? <laughs> Whoa, 1, November. 1,000 bits for 1,000 bits. November, thank you so much for the 1,000. Truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Going towards our Master Quest playthrough. Uh, that's for you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, what's up, Ski? Hope you're doing well today. Thanks for the GGs. Uh, I did not have to do that. That is not part of the quest. But it is part of Meech Percent. Um, honestly, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to today, but it's already longer than I've wanted to stream with a migraine, so I'm going to call it here. Um, that was, that was for you guys specifically, and then next week we'll pick up, and I'm unfortunately, like, sorry that I didn't really get a ton done today in terms of the story, but we got a lot of the side quests and the side adventures out of the way. So that's good. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm back to Wind Waker next week. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time it is, wherever you may be. Take care. I will see you next time. And we'll be back next week for more Wind Waker, hopefully with a lot more of the main story. Uh, but we did complete a lot despite it not really looking like it today. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for all of your support. It really means the world to me. Uh, and take care. Take care till next time. Bye!